What's going on, you bunghole boffin Brandons? Happy New Year to you. I'm Toxic Male, and sitting over there looking way too happy with himself is Terrence Pop. All right! And you have good reason to be happy. Look at that number on the board. We got, went to 406. 406! All right. You mantastic moments out there, yeah. put your dicks down. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. How'd you, how was your uh, holidays, Pop? Yeah. Not like I didn't see you every day or anything. Yeah, yeah. It only seemed like we were taking a week off. Because in actuality, while we weren't streaming or uploading any content last week, we were here in the studio shooting Administrative Violence, the webinar, every day. Yes! We'll be telling you! I uh, told you to get it done! God damn it! Yeah, th- three to four hours of shooting a day, and it's still only 90% done. And 90, 95%. Yeah. Well, we, st- we got some you know dramatizations to do. Yeah, like one or two skits. One or two more interviews, and that's it. Yeah, I got to, uh, I got to like scuzz myself up so I can pretend to be somebody selling you something out of a trunk of their car on Craigslist. That'd be awesome. Yeah, uh, can I, uh, can I see that computer that's behind the dead hooker? <laughs> no, no, no. Are they call girls? No. Oh, when they're dead, they're just hookers. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot my manners. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get anything good for Christmas? Nah, not really. That's I, I don't lie. accept gifts for usually it's just food. That's a lie. Just so you guys know. Oh shit. Pop finally went to visit the P.O. box. You see that massive stack of shit behind me? This is all stuff sent from you guys. We're gonna open it live on the stream Thursday. Mm. Winning. Winning. Oh yeah. But I know the Christmas gift that we all got this year. Uh, please don't say herpicon syphilis. That would be bad. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't personally go to Amy Horton's Christmas parties, but yeah, yeah, you can wind up with uh, some kind of soiree going on in your downstairs mix-up that require pills and shots, if it even works. That's how you get a dick worm. Yeah, it would be bad. Yeah. But no, I'm talking about Joe Biden gave us all the Christmas we've been waiting for. Uh. Well, oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I yeah. agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know everybody was like, huh? There's no way. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is a man who has no idea where he is or if his diaper is even working. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. I, I listen, listen, man. We are fucked. We are f- fucked. This is bizarre world where garbage is money. That's right. <laughs> and what's even worse is that if you go over to the lamestream media pundits, they're going to tell you that Let's Go Brandon is in fact a slow motion insurrection. Okay. All right. I'm going to weigh in here. Woo. Okay. First of all, this what, is why whenever. You go against the left, and you argue the point. They always go back and change definitions. Of course. Have psychiatry groups or whatever agree on their fucked up crazy Duh. bullshit. That, that's exactly what they're doing here. Any disagreement, any prank is going to be called an insurrection. Yeah, because, but they seem to think that we just have memories shorter than theirs. Well, the, the like, January 6th thing. From what I saw, it looked like people going to shop at the Blue Light in Kmart. It back looked in the like day. tourists. I have seen Black Friday sales more unruly than January I know. 6th. You give everyone a camera and make them Oriental. It looks like a, a tour from, from <laughs> Japan. Are we even allowed to say Oriental anymore? I, I don't know. We're going to get banned. I'm just saying. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I mean, if you're, uh, look, if you're going to have an insurrection, go nuts. Yeah. You might want to move forward at something faster than a, sh- a saunter. Yeah. Because you're Everybody's listen, you are their not. Phones. Yeah, you are not moving with authority when you saunter. No, that's that's very true. If you're assaulting someplace, it's usually at almost sprint speed, <laughs> and there'll be smoke, lots of noise, and screaming. <laughs> Could you imagine, you know, like the new military? You know, the, the woke military. All right, get him. La da dee da 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 da. It looks like January sixth. Be like, all right. Oh, we are so fucked. <laughs> I, I'm. I got in contact with a guy who works up at the Department of Army. 
Uh-oh. And I'm trying to get the list of all of the retirement packets that have been dropped for the past year. Oh. And then I'm, I'm trying to contact some retention to find out if they're making their retention numbers. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So we're, we're wanting to see if the people are retiring ahead of schedule. And... Well, I'll, okay, what happens? Um, when you get to 20 years, every single day after 20 years, you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, uh, 20 years in two days, you wake up. Should uh, I keep going? And <laughs> usually they'll, they'll like stagger along for two to five more years, especially if they want to get re- uh, promoted one more time. Yeah. But I've seen dozens of guys like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> done. I, I remember this one E7 literally got off a vehicle, picked up his clipboard, wrote a note to the commander, left it, left it in the hands of the driver. I said, I'll be in my hooch, and yeah. uh, I'm retiring. <laughs> he just walked <laughs> off. <laughs> the commander was like, what the fuck? Who's oh, running no. this fucking place? I'm like, hey, you know, sorry, sorry, I'm retired. Yeah, you know. What? Uh, he left you a note. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? You know? <laughs> <laughs> he just said, fuck it, I'm done. I mean, and a lot of people from what I hear are doing that, and I don't blame them. I wouldn't blame them either. Like, are, are, are you serious? I have to line people up based on their pronouns. Yeah, and I, fa- I'm done. Your space goes design. Well, one of the main things that's doing it is the mandates. Ah, uh, yes. In fact, if you guys watch, uh, I think it's coming up on Sunday or next week. My next live from the lair. It's basically how to detect, uh, test, and defeat propaganda, and it all revolves around the coof. Oh yeah, yeah. Because listen. You can't hide everything, especially in the world we have now, right? Oh, they try. <laughs> I know you could like you could change numbers and stuff, and like for, like Veers has been basically uh, underreported by a factor of no less than twenty. Yeah, and that's probably on a good day. But the thing is, it's a large percentage of those people who go two tits to the sky and get do- get dumped off the conveyor belt to turn in their mineral deposits. <laughs> Well, some of those people have families that complain, and they have insurance. Yeah. So guess what happened? Dun, dun, dun. We got an ass load. It's up 40% of insurance claims for people below 65. Yeah. And they don't track above 65, Mm. because at 65, usually life insurance cuts off. Ass load is such a good word. And people who routinely go on mandates don't mind an ass load. That's right. You see what I did there? Or you got the president with a new diaper with a... (laughs) Ass load. My butt's been wiped. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? We, we should put in the comments the link to Bachelor Weights and Measures. Oh, yeah. Shitload, ass load, fuck ton in there. <laughs> Yonder. Classic. Yeah, you like that. That's that's 100% comedy gold. There's no politics in that. <laughs> uh, speaking of comedy gold. Uh, what did you do for New Year's? Uh, I didn't see you around New Year's. That, uh, yeah, it's just later on. We, we parted ways on early on New Year's Eve because we were done shooting in the morning. Mm-hmm. I think I uh, played War, War Thunder and then I uh, threw back a bunch of booze. Not a bad idea. Made some phone calls and like uh, like one one fifteen in the morning. I I I don't remember. <laughs> That sounds kind of familiar. Actually, if you pick up that bottle of at the far end there, uh, not that one, the one next to it there, the one that's half empty, uh-huh. no, not that one, oh, the, the, the one that's half empty, the oh, oh, big oh. TX on there, Oh yeah, that's from Texas Rail Dog. We hadn't opened that until New Year's Eve. That is some of the smoothest damn whiskey you have ever tasted in your life. Oh, here we go. On camera. Smoky. It's very smoky. It's got a reduced bite. Quite it, smooth. It, it is significantly smoother than usual whiskey. Mm-hmm. It's not as smooth as this. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that one doesn't have the, the oh. coffee flavor. But it's got a nice aftertaste to it. Doesn't it's got it? like a like a minty, oaky flavor. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's a reason why that bottle was not opened until New Year's Eve, and it's already half gone. I know. All right, I'm sorry. You got just, me distracted. It was just me and a few buddies. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you got me distracted, man. <laughs> but it's delicious. You said whiskey and smooth at the same time. But we can all take solace in the fact that whatever you did on New Year's Eve, 
even if it was just, you know, covering up, you know, the, the camera on your computer so that you could have a no fat flap zone and, you know, doing your deal. Nothing that you could do. You could have been you could have been scarfing out your dog's anus. It would not have been as gay as this. Couple kisses with masks on after New Year's Eve marriage proposal in Times Square. What a cuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you right now, dude, you're a cuck. Oh. That is so stupid. I, I can't even I can't even believe it. let's just you got to see it for yourself. And she said yes. Oh my god! She said yes. She said yes. And everyone's Yo, got dick shaped balloons in the background. Some of these couples All right. Nine months from now, you know what I'm saying? And here comes the chick with no mask. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> that dude who's got on his knees, right? He's gonna be picking out a fresh refrigerator box in five to seven years. Uh, I would personally go with Kenmore or Frigidaire. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> I remember I, I left that comment on like your Facebook page. <laughs> you got so fucking mad. Well, no, it wasn't me that got mad. It was the couple that was going to be getting married. Luckily, the groom was a fan of the show. I know. And uh, and his, uh, his betrothed didn't put two and two together that it was the show that he watched, and that dude was the one telling me to pick out a nice, uh, <laughs> a nice Maytag <laughs> to fucking live out his sunset years. <laughs> Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> what are you going to do, man? Hey, what are you going to do? Gonna do? Uh, but it was, uh, you know, good times. Like I said, no matter no matter how low-key your New Year's Eve was, at least you're not that guy. At least you're not that couple. Absolutely correct. Oh, it's just uh, I see nothing but bad things in store for people who would do something like that. I cannot. I just In today's day and age, I just cannot put my wrap my head around anyone wanting to get married. Other yeah, other than either you want to have kids mm. or you've been with somebody for a long time and they got like cancer and you got to put them on your like medical plan. Uh, I could see that. And that would probably come along with a prenup. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I'm just saying, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. And like, like, since I've already been like divorced once, I'm not doing it again. No. But if you've never been married and you want to have kids and you think you can risk it, well, you might be able to for a while. Yeah. Until you get the I'm not happy and and you're fucked. But it's not pretty a good clear. Way. It's pretty clear though that if you're gonna kiss somebody with a mask on, you're a cuck. You probably shouldn't be having children. Or he's gonna go, I can't wait to get you home and let Tyrone over here rail you <laughs> and have me watch. <laughs> Or what would be even funnier is, you know, she makes him wait till the wedding night. Oh, God. You know? Because, you know, we want to be safe. We want to make sure we don't give each other any diseases, not even the coof. Except he doesn't know that she is the pig roast at the Hawaiian luau party every Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to get himself a bad case of herpiganocephalitis because he did not ask the most important question that you can as a man. Total cocks. <laughs> And that's when you shit your asshole inside out. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. So let's do a roll call. What do we have on there? Roll call. Uh, thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, as you all know, if you saw the scheduling video that was posted just yesterday, we are back to prime time all the time. Every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, this schedule is not changing. We wanted to see how everybody would feel things out. And this is what you guys like. And I, I run a stream on Sundays for supporters. Yep, 8 p.m. Eastern on Sundays for supporters. And, and normally, like, I, I've never, see, we've had, the most I've had on there was like 38. Well, I, I think now that it's in a, a good spot, you know, on a day when no one's working, mm -hmm. I think we might see that bump up a bit. And apparently people didn't even know that we had this stuff going because we actually had a, a small explosion, not like a huge one, mm -hmm. but, but a decent-sized boost in supporters after that scheduled video aired. So people are like, oh, I didn't even know they had this stuff. So, boom. All right, that's cool. That's get cool. exclusive access to the man every Sunday, and that's well, also just, when you're going to get your I just answer videos. a lot of questions. I tell some jokes, maybe a story or two. I, I field all kinds of questions about guns and survival yeah. stuff. 
One of the reasons I like putting out the, the new videos, because all the pop videos are going to be coming out early on Sunday, too, is that it, people watch those. They have any questions for you. Oh, I get to talk to the man tonight. Boom. There you go. Yeah, there you go. It's not a bad time. And if you guys have not yet subscribed to the backup channels, you need to do it. YouTube.com slash Terrence Pop Culture, YouTube.com slash Grunt Speak. You get your archive streams on the Terrence Pop Culture channel and your short bits on the Grunt Speak channel three times a week. Links in the Meat Gazer box. And go to Alt Tech. Yes. Go to redonculus.com slash channels and you will see a list of virtually everywhere that we broadcast. So do it. Amen. Because there is going to be a new tech portion of this stream tonight. And if you're not there, you're square. Yes, and we will be covering this. And you're probably losing your hair. Not that I would know anything about that or anything. I'm just saying. But obviously some of those men out there don't care. Yes. About their hair. No. Because it's been migrating down their back, and now when they take their shirt off, they look like a bear. Correct. I'm aware some may stare at my back hair. And that's not fair. In fact, to be fair, some really despair of such hair. But I don't care, because they're not aware, nor are they debonair. In fact, they're just square. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're like way faster at doing that shit than I uh, There was a classic George Carlin rhyming about hair, and for some reason my brain just went into that mode. Oh, okay. And like 70s George Carlin, back before he got like super political and awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I never got to see him live. I kind of regret that. I did one time, 2002. It was a great day in my life. All right. Got to see the man. Didn't he die like five years later or something? Yeah, it wasn't that long after. Yeah. yeah he he looked like he was kind of slowing down. Well, so he's I been kinda... smoking two packs of cigarettes for decades. That'll do it. Yeah. I mean, if you smoke for that long and you get like anywhere near 70, you know the finish line has been moved up on you. <laughs> just I'm just bit. saying. Just a bit. And to do a quick roll call here, we're already up to 865 on the YouTube channel. Fuck yeah. Yeah, 38 on MGTOW.TV. That's going to go up later when we do new tech. 88 on Odyssey. And 47 on DLive. Dapper Sapper with the gift game going strong. Sleeping G's got Elon Musk smoking a joint. That's always a good time. And 50 on Twitch. So we're, we're almost at 1,000 between yeah, all man. of the platforms. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's going to be a good night. Not like it was a good night for this bitch. AOC oh. has a very bizarre response to critics of her Florida trip. All right, stand by. <laughs> it is not a bizarre response. This is a typical response you get from feminists or people oh, yeah, yeah. who can't argue the point. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, well there is no wage gap. Uh, these are the economists who, who debunk all of it. Even the lamestream media has written articles about it. Here you go. Please check it out. Who hurts you? Yeah, you hit your mother? You Are, hit you your okay? mother? Are you okay? You have a small penis. You can't like, please a woman anyway. That's nothing to do with what the, the reality on the ground. It's ridiculous. I mean, the reality on the ground is this raging kuantahaha <laughs> is preaching this whole mandate cra you know, crash-up derby that's taken place in the blue states. Yeah. He, she's from New York. And look at this picture of her right here. Uh, well, This on. is ironic for like three reasons. And she goes down to Florida. Yeah. After, in public. After screaming that DeSantis was like leading the death march into the gas showers at the concentration camps because he refused to have mask mandates. You know what the word is? As soon as she landed, there were state troopers following her undercover everywhere she went. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So uh, They were all hoping to get I'm, a piece of that air BJ. No, no. <laughs> I'm sure they had a direct line to the governor. Could you imagine, like, a chick with chompers like that, you put your penis in her hands, you're really putting your life in there with it. Well, you stick your, you stick it in that chopper, you're going to get stuff scraped off. Of <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Show me the tits again. It's not worth it. I'm out of here. Hey! 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 <laughs> 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 na, 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 na. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I was a fast motherfucker in my yeah, 20s. Were. Oh, so, so for those of you who don't know, every single Democrat politician who has been screaming that DeSantis is the devil incarnate for not going along with lockdownerism has been vacationing in Florida. Yep. And AOC is no exception. Correct. She goes down there, people call her out for her hypocrisy. It is plain as day. And what does she respond with? If Republicans are mad they can't date me, they can just say that instead of projecting their sexual frustrations onto my boyfriend's feet. I, what? I, what? What? Is she dating a hobbit? 
I don't even know if she's dating. I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> but I already sucked your dick today. What about second breakfast? <laughs> what about third seats? <laughs> Oh, shit, I hit the ceiling. What about thirdsies? <laughs> you want thirdsies? And fourthsies? <laughs> I have my uh, filthy fourth. <laughs> my nasty ninth. Uh, Sickening icky, sixth. Sick, icky eighths. Nasty ninths. <laughs> Turgid tenths. What what video is that from? Uh, Eskimo Brothers. Oh, yeah. That's another funny one. That's, com- that's pure comedy Eskimo right there. Eskimo Brothers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> But what really cracks me up about this is that, I mean, it is just the typical feminist response. But could you imagine, <laughs> could you imagine something a little more egregious, you know, perhaps a little more on the nose? Like, excuse me, Mrs. Clinton, uh, uh, you've got a body count that extends to the moon and you clearly were sharing classified information as proven by your emails. What do you have to say? Okay, it's clear. All you Republicans want to have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. We, uh, we got to put that one and the uh, other one together and release it uh, on, on YouTube. That'd be great. Uh, oh, but she knows you want her, Pop. She sent along a little something something. No. This is a lost Oval Office tape from the 1990s just for you. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> no! Ah! Turn this off! No! No! Ah, no way! It's not a deep fake. <laughs> Get the hell out of here! That's disgusting. Oh, he had no idea that was coming. I'm serious. That is fucked up. <laughs> Don't do that again, man. Big shout out to Billy Von Baum for throwing those together for me. You, sir, are a fucking genius. You're a genius, I, I bro. bow to you. We're not worthy. <laughs> yeah. And there is one thing nobody was doing when that was playing. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, th- I've only had one shot, but I think I might throw up. <laughs> that was, uh, that was uh, stomach testing. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> oh my God, Jimmy Bone says, "Oh my God, I was doing a donation and then I cut back to that." Damn it, Blake! <laughs> oh, you poor bastards! I'm Dude, sorry. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> Just drink more. You'll be fine. <sighs> no, 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 no. Drive out of here. here. And of course, the other big news story that happened while we were all, uh, well, <laughs> Megan made fun of me for the uh, time off. Yeah, You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. I was Are you talking about all the Maxwell thing? The, yeah, Jizz Lane, a, a very popular, uh, frequently visited spot on most middle school males' GPS. Uh, little black book sealed by the court. So everybody was celebrating, yay, guilty on five out of six charges, yay. Okay, who were the kids trafficked to? Uh, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, you know, that's probably not going to stay sealed for long. It's tiny victories, right? Yeah, we're, this is, we're just supposed to take care of this. Thing. Well, if I ruled the world, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> oh, that's oh, going to yeah. be happening. That's going to be a segment on the show. Yep. Oh, pardon me. The fr- I mean, if, if I wind up running the show, the first thing I do is release everything there was on Kennedy. Yep. I would... And stuff like this would never happen. I would have a lot of people fucking arrested on the spot. Yep. And then have them investigated by neutral parties. Yeah. And if uh, and if the charges were egregious enough, they get the special chiropractic pass it's attached <laughs> to a rope. Chiropractic pass. It's good times. It's free. Yeah. But only once. Only once. Yeah. Only once. Only once, yeah. Anything other than that is a little bit too egregious for the taxpayers. I think so. I think yeah. so. Which is why it's important to take you know such such punishments and broadcast them live on pay per view because then you could actually raise enough money to balance the budget. Oh wow, that's another thing I would do. <laughs> I, would, I would have like uh, you know execution night, and then dueling. Yeah, dueling. Oh yeah, dueling. Bro- pay per view the dueling too. Yeah. And you could start at like 10 o'clock on a Saturday and go to 10 o'clock on Sunday. Heck yeah. 24 hours of dueling. Yeah. Every, every, every dueling match would have like the, uh, you know, like the WWE's backstory, you know, broadcast. Yeah. Like, that motherfucker. He's going to die. I loaned two grand to his wife and I never got a BJ. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, pistol at, pistols at dawn. Your first problem is that you loan money to a woman mm. because you never loan a woman money. You it's just a, give it to her. It's a gift. You just don't know it yet. You just don't know it yet. 
Except Just like crack. this chick here. Oh. 2,000 names in a little black book that will never be revealed now because, you know, it, it, I, I think they said it was something like an, it was, it would, it's impure. You know, it would be an impure way of like, you can't, you can't. no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on. Never. That is a very long time. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh. I better hope I don't get a copy of that. Oh, yeah. Because uh, that motherfucker could go out to the three wins. Yeah. Four wins, sorry. So, what is it? The only count that she was not found guilty on was count number two, which was enticement of an individual under the age of 17 to travel for the purposes of engaging in Ill- illegal sexual activity. That's literally all they did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's what she was found not guilty. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Ugh. It, this was a very big operation. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's probably half a dozen people out there who have the same amount of information that just hasn't been released yet. Yeah. Because this did not happen in a vacuum. Nope. This is, I mean, this extends probably to the highest level oh, of yeah. the political elite. Correct. I mean, right here, uh, this is really a really great article. I suggest that you guys check it out. Um, as always, resources are going to be on Redonculus.com. They're already there. If you go right there, uh, Redonculus.com, click on videos. This is the first thing that will pop up. Click on that. You will find all the sources for tonight already arranged. Oh, Jizz Lane Maxwell cover-up is completed. Can she survive in prison? What are the over-under odds, you think, of her making it another year? Uh, Hashtag Jizz Lane Maxwell didn't kill herself. For every year she gets prison, there's probably a 10 to 20% chance she zeroes out. Yeah. So if she's got like five years, by the end of the fifth year, she'd probably be dead. Yeah, orange is the new black and blue. Oh, did you also hear that the, the guards who allowed him to kill himself, supposedly, they're not charging him with anything? That Oh, yeah, even though they admitted to falsifying reports and all the kinds of stuff yeah. that would easily... Uh, why are they still in the force? Extra. I mean, get rid of... That is insane. <laughs> Yep. We know nothing. I love this right here. We know nothing about the evidence. It was all sealed. No one in the mainstream media is asking for any other information. They just want her charged and sentenced and out of public sight. Absolutely. That's exactly what's going on here. They want to bury this and then refocus people's attention on the fluorona. Well, I mean, if I get that information, I'll release it to the four winds. Hell yeah. You've got connections. Yeah, I actually do. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have any idea? The people out there in TV land or, or YouTube land, a guy does time in the service, meets a lot of people. Only 20% of the people who enlist actually make it to the end to retire. But along that way, you make friends with people who go to the four corners. Yep. And, you know, every, you know, every once in a while you get on the phone like, hey, bro. It's pop here, man. What's going on? What's going on? Give me the skinny on this. Oh, we've got AOC on the line for you, Pop. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's clear. All you Republicans want to have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> Get her away. Get her out of here. Those crazy oh, eyes. God. Man. I'm going to see that shit in my dreams. That's an evil looking woman, man. That's all I can say. Oh. But she's she is a perpetual low cow. You mean we're we're gonna be milking her for laughs until the people in her district are finally smart enough to elect somebody else. Yeah, it's I mean it's insane. And and what New York is hemorrhaging people. Oh yeah, and Michigan, from what I understand, our state is in the top ten exodus states because yeah. people are just sick and tired of the lockdownerism bullshit. And the blue, well, and the the genocide committed by the governors. Oh yeah, there's always that. You know? Yeah. I can't imagine why she would actually think re-election was a possibility after murdering several thousand of our grandparents and relatives. Yeah. But, you know, you, you know, if you're another state in this union, you don't have standing to question the results of another state's uh, ice cream soda. And that's why, why do we even have the union if, you know, if one state doesn't have standing to, you know, to go to the Supreme Court? I, I don't know. Just saying. Makes no sense to me. But, oh, hang on. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Well, that's that's pretty good. Redhead, nice. Yeah, eh, you know. Yeah, I mean, she's got maybe three years left. Yeah, she's going to age like banana pudding. <laughs> She'll be walled out and stalled up before we get the bowl to the table. Dun, dun, dun. 
We are going to read some super chats for you guys. Before the stream even began, we had three right out the gate, and we just crossed over a thousand viewers. Thank you all so much. For all right, us tonight we got a hundred dollars super chat to start the night from Dara Sum Koti. Holy smoke, and Joe Frazier. We're not worthy. <laughs> We're not worthy. Hell yeah, that's right. It is your first. You're not worthy. It's like he knew. Happy New Year's to you, Riggers. I turned off some quality TV, married with children, to catch two Richards in a car. Oh, wait. To 2022, at the words of the four touchdowns in one game, let's rock. Also, straw. Hey, man. <laughs> you bastard. You weren't fast enough, man. Suck it. You weren't fast enough. Thank you so much, good sir. And if I'm not pronouncing that... Uh, that screen name correctly, just uh, send it to me phonetically, redonkulousplake at gmail.com. Jaffa on the bound with two chats back to back here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Hang on. He wants my Twilight Zone voice. Mm. Imagine, if you will, that you were in complete isolation from the rest of the world, have all of your vaccinations and boosters, with all quarantine standards in place, and you still get the coof. You might be an Antarctic researcher. Cue the thing outro. I don't have that, but I do have this. Stop! Don't touch me there! This is my no no square! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, if you guys haven't heard about that, yeah, I think it was three quarters of researchers in the Antarctica. I mean, the, the, these people are miles from anyone but each other. Yeah. They've all been poked, they've all been smoked. All of them came back with the EIU. Well, they've been poked and boosted. Yeah. But, you know, it totally works. And if everyone would just give the pharmaceutical companies all the money they want, the disease would go away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eat a dick. In yep. fact, eat the whole bag. <sighs> Keith Peterson wants another butt. All right, here we go. I'm going to bring it up here. We already saw her, but we haven't seen her sister. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, no, the, She's a little too skinny. The, the glasses pseudo nerdy thing doesn't really do it for me. I'm just mm. going to say it. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Peterson. Big Dan in L.A. I hope that's not your porn name. Pop, why are so many of our politicians dual citizens with our greatest ally? Do you think it's their escape plan if the shit hits the fan? Uh, well, I'm going to be honest. Um, if you have dual citizenship, you probably shouldn't serve in government. And if you have investments in several countries that are considered hostile to this nation, you probably shouldn't serve in government. Correct. Of course, that's just my opinion. I so what, we're wrong. talking to Israel or UK? Uh, it could be China. Okay, it could be China. Yeah. yeah. Our greatest ally. Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. We only allow them to produce all of our antibiotics. I can't imagine why or how that could go wrong. Yeah. It's like puking on a pile of shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Michael Spicer, prior 68W, working near Fort Lewis, used to be with 17th Fires Brigade as a travel nurse. Have you ever eaten at Walk In, Walk Out? It's right outside of Mad- Madigan Gate. And if so, what are your thoughts on it? I have not eaten there. Walk In, Walk Out. Might be a Chinese place. No. Yeah, a W-O-K, Walk In, yeah. Yeah, well, I don't think that place existed when I was at Fort Lewis because I was at Fort Lewis from 1987 to 1991, middle of summer, 91, something like that. Ah. Uh, so 87, 80, 89, 90, 91, like four or five years, something like that. Okay. So if this is a newer place. Yeah. yeah. And I've been to Fort Lewis uh, since then, but <laughs> I wasn't stationed there. Gianna Giovelli says, walk in, puke out. That's uh. about right. There's a Chinese place by me that I refuse to, to try on general principle because it's called Takey Outy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've driven by that one. You get food poisoning just thinking about that place. <laughs> no way. Yeah, you can uh, you can screw yourself up really bad. Yes, yes, you can. You, uh, you take uncle. yourself outy. <laughs> take yourself outy, yeah. <laughs> Not in a good way. Uh, crazy uncle here. First things first. I'm sure you guys are going to be talking about the bullshit in Amsterdam, actually, not tonight. Just remember one thing. The Anne Frank house is in Amsterdam. Hmm. This is why when the EU was going to be placed in Berlin, my esp tingled. Hell, it was like a mortar had just gone off to the next table inside the chow hall. Second shit, it happened again. Oh boy, here we go. 
I was at a bar, which is rare for me nowadays, and a woman came up to me. Do you remember the days when women would at least try to act like they are interested before asking for a drink? Uh huh. Now it's like they're demanding them. When she pulled off the, you gonna buy me a drink? I should have backhanded her right then and there. Instead, I ordered a drink, paid for it before the bartender even turned around, and when the drink got there, she tried to reach for it when I did. As she tried to pull the drink away from my hand, I screamed, what the fuck are you doing? When she tried to answer, I, I screamed, Stop trying to steal my drink, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. FYI, I was in a bad mood already. The guy on the other side of her tried to white knight for her until the bouncer came over. Thankfully, he had no tolerance for this woman and told her that it was mine since I paid for it. Before she left, I made sure she heard me say, I don't even want this anymore. <laughs> I motioned to the guy on the other side of me, not a white knight, and gave it to him. Nice. Cover charge, 15 bucks. Price of the drink, 10 bucks. The sound of that woman screeching to her friends as they teased the hell out of her, priceless. Needless to say, the entire thing made me feel better along with making the entire bar laugh their asses off. Though I think the guy turning around and toasting her with a drink she thought I bought her was a bit much. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, women have been doing that for as long as I started going to bars. Oh, yeah. They, that's nothing new. They walk in, they're like, vagina, free drink. Yeah. No. That's yeah. not how that works. Not no, anymore. You not wanted anymore. equal rights, you get equal lefts. I've, I don't think of, well, I can't. There's been a few occasions where I bought drinks for chicks, but I was, like, severely interested in them. I didn't just willy-nilly whip up my wallet and start paying for shit because I was fucking poor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. And I'm not going to go into debt to impre impress any chick. And I've, I've never been that way. Uh, I only bought bought drinks for chicks that I was already putting the hose to. So. Yeah, there you, go. there you go. Putting the hose to some hose, if you know what I mean. You got to get your interest on your investment. Exactly. I gotcha. Uh, D Man 50, Pops is great. Sub to Chris Mitchell and Polska Bob. Hell yeah, Polska Bob. Who's Chris Mitchell? <laughs> I'm bad with names. <laughs> I'm bad with names, too. Crazy Uncle, evening, you British cigarettes. I just performed a PCR test on a group of liberals. After maxing it out, we still couldn't find any common sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it's it. so rare, it's a superpower. Now. It really is, and most of the time they give you false positives. Smooth Criminal, how much do you want to bet that CNN is going to do a full-day coverage on the anniversary of January 6th because it's a midterm year? You know what? I would bet money on it. It's two days away, and we're going to be streaming that night, so you know what that means. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bet you're correct. Uh, I'm thinking a moment of silence for Ashley Babbitt, the only person who was murdered that day. They're trying to say five people died. That's a lie. I know. That's straight-up lie. Those cuck generals who are threatening a freaking uh, coup in 2024 said five people died. Like, who? I know. Ashley Babbitt and one guy who died days later. They said he got hit in the head with a fire extinguisher, but he died of a stroke. And these are these are fucking former generals. Yeah. Okay. They're all West Point or Annapolis trained. Okay. Um, what are they snorting at the old folks' home? That's what I'm wondering. I I don't know, man. I, 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 all I can say is I, I don't. I wouldn't even talk to generals. I'd really if, if I'm I'm out of the military and they're out of the military. They're just a fucking piece of shit like me. Fuck you. Don't speak to me because I will fucking kick your ass. <laughs> uh, they're in the beat on sight list officially. No, it's, <laughs> it's not really a beat on sight list. It's more like uh, if you try any of that arrogant, fucked up shit because, you know, we're no longer in the service, you know, you're going to be, ring we're going to ring up the cash register with your fucking teeth. <laughs> You don't even have to salute him while you're beating his you can ass. Sue me, that's fine. I, I don't make right. him have any money. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right, Keith Peterson. After some nice butts, Space Ghost is on. Mm. I approve of that one. She looks like she's got some resting bitch face going on, but hey. she doesn't look. She looks upset. She looks very upset. It's all right, Don. I'm not looking at her face. Well, she went to the gym and didn't get attention <laughs> from the guy that she wanted. But don't you dare talk to her while she's at the gym. Don't you dare talk to me while I'm at the gym. <laughs> that is going to be a bit on the uh, the Grunt Speak channel on Friday. <laughs> yes, it will. Irish Lover 7745. Pop, what is your War Thunder handle? Uh, it is Calzool Pop. Calzool Pop. K-A-L-Z-O-O-L space P-O-P-P. -P. The hell is Calzool? It's a name. Don't worry about it. 
Don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. All right, fine. Channel 1-800-DUMB. F me. I've missed you two fellas. Oh, right in the hand. Talk to the hand. Ohio Trucker 1 died, and I killed about 12 gallons of rum and gin and shot about 12,000 rounds of 762 by 51 through an M60 for New Year's. All right. Yeah. That's, That's a lot of rounds, it. man. It'd be like those people over in Italy. You're not allowed to set off fireworks. How many rounds did he say he fired off? Sure. 12,000 rounds. Okay. Um, if you're using 147 grain... You can get those for roughly sixty-five cents a round. You take sixty-five cents, multi yeah. So for every thousand rounds, he's burning through six hundred bucks. Six thousand. He went through seventy-two hundred dollars in ammunition. Wow, that's a car, in my book at least. That's wow. Yeah, you could buy a, a cop car and still have uh, enough money left over to buy off some of the creepy points that you get from it. Yeah, I mean, I love cop cars. I know you do. Gas mileage is shit now, but. <laughs> Thanks, Biden. D-Man 50, shout out, success pool endeavors, master wrench, salute. Boom. Yes, we have some awesome wrenches out there. Thank you all very much. Crazy Uncle again. Blake, name the movie. I didn't feel like getting sloppy, so I stuck with beer. Mm. I don't know. Last Man Standing, Bruce Willis. Oh, I, I would never remember that shit. It's good times. Wrap this around your head. Yeah, I tried that line with a chick once. It didn't work. I was lined up to get a job right after retirement. Well, so much for that. Because I will not and cannot take the shaft. I got the shaft in regards to the job. Maybe I should try to work at the post office. I tell Pop to be careful. The smoother the whiskey, the sneakier it is. I know. Kind of like the brow liquor called Tawalka. The reason they call it is that after a few shots, you can't even to walk your ass to the bathroom or the dog bed. Nice. <laughs> Unless you're filming Wango Tango, then the dog bed is all you got. <laughs> you just fall on the floor and there it is. Uh, I mean, you can also take uh, jungle juice, or which is like grain alcohol, 197 proof. Yeah. Put it in a Brita filter, and then you use that. To, you know, mix it with Hawaiian Punch and lemonade. You won't even taste the booze. And you, I'm not telling you right now. An hour later, your head is going to be in tits. <laughs> uh, can't say much for the woman attached to them. That they, they might be, you know, the 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 two at ten who's attended to, but oh. you, your face will be in tits. Well, jungle juice should be named after what it is. Let's put your tits in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> nice. Dung is fun. You know that Pop is doing good when you see that his socks are on and there's no holes in them for a change. <laughs> hey, don't, don't judge me, man. And they're all the same color instead of just and they're not, yeah. nasty ass dirt at all the right, bottom. Th <laughs> this is the way it works. I take them out of the dryer. If they're inside out, fine. If one is inside out, don't care. They go on my feet. I wear them. <laughs> I wear them probably a half a dozen times a pair and then I throw them out. Yes. Because my. Uh, Nasty finger or toenails, like eagle talons, and just rip them to shreds. It's what happens, man. And my dad, you know, when he was alive, he had some horrible, gnarly ass eagle talon toenails as well. Yep. And he was a smoker. Ugh. When we lived in Oak Park, he had a back room, that a big family room that he had built onto that house, and that was like his smoking area. And so he had a fucking ashtray in the middle of the coffee table in the back, and he would clip his toenails and then leave them in the <laughs> ashtray so the whole family could come by and observe and admire the situation. Eh, that's not that bad. Oh, they were pretty nasty, man. I actually picked one up once because I was curious. I was a kid, you know, I was like, whatever, and I was... It's like, I'm trying to like, I was like able to bore a hole into the coffee table. That shit was, <laughs> it was like a drill punch. I can use it to take a, you know, a Phillip head uh, screw out. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. I mean, when your toenails get that bad, just get a belt sander and keep it next to the bed. Well, I, I, I have foot funk. So, so oh, yeah, I caught that in uh, South America, walk around the jungle. That's why Lieutenant Dan says, take good care of your feet. Well, I did. It, it, it just doesn't go away. I kill it with Lysol. It's good for <laughs> like a month, and then it just comes back. And it's been doing that for like 30-some-odd years. It is what it is. You just got to learn to live with it. It is. It is. All right. Keith Peterson, if you studied pop, you know don't cream and crazy. That's absolutely correct. Although when you're young and dumb and full of stuff that rhymes with dumb, 
it's really hard to resist the well, temptation. You're saying when you're a free range fornicator yeah. and you're, uh, you know, basically, you know, shooting speed, uh, see like an old bird feeder. And yeah, not that I would know about that or anything. No, I do. We've all been there. Crazy Uncle Rep Ocasio, it isn't AOC, equals the movie Teeth. <gasps> oh. Drink if either of you just got grossed out. Oh, God. Teeth. Have you seen that movie? No, but it doesn't It's about good. a woman whose special no-no square. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. Stop. Her no-no square has teeth. Oh, Okay. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be the dude who found that out. Is she an alien or something? No, it was just some weird, like crazy Cronenbergian body horror shit. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't want to be the the guy who tried to pop that chair. No, you're gonna get something sawed off. You fuck around with that. <laughs> Ugh. D man fifty Island Hermit RP three. Give him a sub. Yes, please do. Uh, just subscribe to everybody. Why the hell not? D Man Fifty again at One Fast Dak. Give him a sub. Yeah, click on it. Get do your deal. Hey, we're, we're happy to have anybody on the stream too. So if you ever want to be a guest on our stream, we'll throw people at your channel. Hit us up on the emails. Atomic Dimension Traveler. When are you guys gonna have Redonkulous on Getter? Funny you should mention that. We just signed up for Getter, and it's under Grunt Speak. So do it. I put up uh, two videos. I put Pring uh, Pringle Smells, <laughs> and uh, what was the other one? I don't remember the other one. But, you know, yeah, I want to wish Twilight everyone on video there. or a different one? Well, I wanted to wish everyone uh, happy holidays. And uh, the only way it. you can do that is with Pringle Smells. That's absolutely true. Uh, if you guys haven't watched that one yet, you are missing out. It's on the channel. Share I can't it believe out. it's only got 5,000 views. Well, you know, I mean, th there wasn't really... A transcript that they could use to, you know, like use the algorithm to, <laughs> to push it out there. I mean, uh, who knows? Yeah, 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 it is what it is. You know? yeah, some people get grossed out by body sounds. So, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, women get grossed out by the word moist. So that is going to be an upcoming video of words that women. piss off women. <laughs> Will Dog Jones won. Beat on sight list. Sign me up. Play Hillary dance and throw the straw. Oh, he wants me to do it. Okay, fine. I, I got to do it. I was, I was asked What's to. What's the Hillary dance? <laughs> oh, God, no! Hey, come on! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, the face at the end is like the demon child in it's the Twilight the, I know, it's the face. Oh. It's just so nasty. And like... Yeah. I talked to some of the Secret Service people who were on staff shower. when she was in the White House, and they couldn't keep people on that shift because they would, they would just they would be jumping over themselves to get the fuck off that detail. Well, she's awful. Well, one her her breath is just terrible. Oh, like you could smell her colon from you know from her her mouth. And that was just from the one time she gave topsy turvy to Billy Boy. I don't know. I mean, his dick is like. But the thing is, is that was like twenty years ago. It's got to be way worse now. Mm. Ah, ah. And she was a raging bitch. And I, now, the really funny, like the dancing video was in my head, and now I'm taking what you're talking about, and in my mind, I'm putting them together. Ugh. Yep. It's terrible. Terrible. Temper zero one. Oh boy. In regards to Maxwell, I've been recognized and called by my Wango Tango video name by cops and even a judge in a bar. Nice! These people have my old content and I'm powerless because I can't prove it. That is messed up, brother. What, what, what are they doing to him? His old content, the stuff that he used to make when he was in the, uh, the Orn Pay business. Oh. And he was getting Wango Tangoed for money. Ah, uh, well, you're never going to live that down, man. I'm just saying. It is what it is. Hey, look. Hey, at least you're not telling people to take down all the videos that you signed a contract to for your mental health, wing. Yeah. Yeah. Despite the, yeah, yeah, I know you paid me handsomely, but you can't use any of that yeah. content. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, Jeffrey Klopp, judge, judge blocked Navy discipline of SEALs who refused the poke and smoke. I heard about that. God bless that judge. Well, I mean, the thing is this. Um, you can resist it. We're going to try to get to that administrative violence course, the military administrative violence. 
Um, I have counseling forms from about half a dozen soldiers. Two of them are officers. One of them is fairly high up. Then I have like, you know, E5, C7, stuff like that. Those are sergeant, sergeant first class. Good times. Mm hmm. Good times. All right, we just got a couple more here, and then we're going to jump over to the other sites. Dung is fun. When you said Eagle Talons, I started laughing my ass off. That's what I tell a lot of people that don't trim their toenails. Everybody can relate to that one. Yeah, I got yelled at by uh, Ken Levy, who owns the boxing gym, because he actually <laughs> took my shoes and socks off and I was kicking the bags. The place where you where you teach? Uh-huh. Like, what I the fuck are you doing? You're going to rip my bags! One, of, so one of my toenails like ripped a hole in the <laughs> in the leather. So you know that shit is like just insane. <laughs> Oh, uh, you sick bastard! Yeah, I uh, <laughs> yeah, I run a kickboxing class at Smash Hit uh, Kickboxing in Pontiac. Okay. Just just put the put the little safety shoes on next time, Pop. No, <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna have to live with it. What a dick! Uh, Deep Purple, 1987. I really missed you guys. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you, good sir. Uh, D Man Fifty. If you're a car su car car guy, sub to Mister Pliskin J D M S. Yeah, everybody's a car guy on some level, I think. Marlon Alvarado with a 1999 super chat and a big Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, bro. Happy New Year to all of you. I hope it was a good one. I hope it's better than the last two, because <laughs> holy shit, it has been a steady decline into Bizarro World. You think? Just a bit. Yeah. Polska Bob, gentlemen, beer monies. Yes, Blake, I was at the bar last night and I will be tonight also. The mayor can take her mandate and stick it straight up her nasty noose, moose knuckle. Oh, God. Her kadoodle. By the way, he lives in Chai Congo where he's got like the, the demon offspring of E.T. and Beetlejuice Gollum baby. Oh, my God. Is there, yeah, it's disgusting. Chai Congo. Ugh. Stay away from that place. Thank you very much for the $25 donation, good sir, and Happy New Year to you. The Master 12 with a 2021 donation. Welcome back, you bundle of sticks, Bates. Happy 2021 Part 2. In which instance does Biden look worse? A winter of death where no one dies or where only the jabbed die? Well, there's that and... He looks bad you know, both ways. $5 a gallon gas, uh, $20 pound of ground beef. Yeah. Uh, hamburger helper is like six bucks a box now. You used to get that for like 79 cents, maybe a dollar fifty if you went to a ritzy place. Get those uh, I did that stickers and put that shit up everywhere. Yep. The meme, the memetic propaganda is working, and that's why they're terrified of it. So keep it up. Well, the reason they want to turn like the whole January 6th thing into like, they just want to make it bigger than it is because they know they're outnumbered. And they know that they are failing monumentally in every conceivable metric. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. they have to keep diverting them away to shit that they can be afraid of and it's not fucking working anymore. That's right. You're absolutely correct. Fear only goes for so long before one day you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care anymore. Well, and you're not, you're not scared anymore. Well, it's like anything else. If you maintain an emotional consistency within an emotional range for too long, it becomes normal to you, and you start tuning it out. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's like watching a Michael Bay movie. It's like, oh, action, 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 action. Well, you know, in Iraq, most of the guys were rolling out in the sector two times a day on average, or something else, sometimes one. And... I remember talking to some of those guys because they were burning out, and they'd be like, hey, Pop, how do you handle it? I go, well, it's easy. Yeah. I get in the vehicle. I get everything ready to go, and in my mind, I just say, you're already dead. <laughs> and then time. everything becomes, well, I mean, well, and then everything is easy. Yeah. But the thing is, is when I came back, it, it's really hard to, like, wake yourself up from the dead because, you know, I still have that mindset. Yep. Uh, he also wants to know, what will the collateral damage be on him come spring, or will everyone have forgotten by then? Uh, well, I, I mean, you have to get indep left-leaning independents and actual leftoids to wake up, because the rest of us already don't trust the media. Yes. We go to independent voices and online content to find out the truth. So we already know what's going on. We know that he's a fuck up. We know that he's not really the one making the decisions. And he shouldn't be there. Yeah. 
the goal that we need to have is changing people's minds. And luckily, they're pushing this fear porn shit so hard, they're waking people up by accident. It's yeah. It'd be sad if it wasn't so damn funny. All I can say is, all he's doing is basically treading water. Yeah. Look, you can't do that. He's treading water thinking that it'll be good enough, and it's it's failing monumentally. Yeah. You don't win a marathon by treading water. You don't win a race by treading water. Yeah. Maybe you can well, stay alive you know, good, until somebody yeah. finds you. If I just stay here and neck deep in water, no one will be able to know what I'm pissing myself. Oh. Uh, they won't be able to see I still have that diaper on. Come on, man. <laughs> Corn Pop's a bad dude. <laughs> yeah, but what we need to call that Clarence the cop. He'll come by and make sure nobody robs my house while I'm gone. I got all that Parmesan cheese saved up in the nightstand for Hunter. Nice. <laughs> That's it. That, 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 it's just so egregious that shit happened and nobody's I know and, and that's it's totally ins- covered up by the media and we're part of the insurrection to point it out yeah. to point out facts yeah. logic and reason we're part of the slow motion insurrection do you know what happened after World War II to the German media arm uh, a whole ass load of them got you know the one time chiropractic deal uh, well can't say they didn't have it coming all over their face, neck, back, and thighs. Shark Dentures, news announcer. We should check on this couple in nine months. No, what I'm saying? Me, yeah, to see if they're still married. And if she is pregnant slash has a child, check with a DNA test. Yes. Happy New Year. <laughs> and, and, and I recommend to anybody out there who's having a child. You should do that anyway. You go get a DNA test. You can buy them you know, over the counter. And she, the 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 meat sack that dropped the kid into the world doesn't even need to know. One third of all paternity tests come back. Not the father. Not the father. And we did a whole video on that. You could, you, you, if you want yeah. to see the receipts, just go check it out. Yeah, the American Association of Blood Banks should just hire Maury to deliver the bad news. That would be awesome. <laughs> you are not the father. That's awesome. <laughs> Crusader Nate, Pop and Blake are the next generation of Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. Pop just needs to drink more. <laughs> Dude, I, I drink too much. We're the Rat Pack. Tracy Wilborn, Happy New Year, you slot C spelunkers. Sniffy Joe saying, let's go, Brandon, was absolutely glorious. Yeah. Well, what's even better is if you watch that video and really pay attention to Jill Biden, she knows what's going on, and as soon as it comes out of his mouth, you just see her like... Oh, it's a done deal. Like, and you know... How I'm to sure lose an election in three seconds. The thing is, is that person called in, they probably had that dude's number, knew who he was within five minutes after he said that. But there's nothing they could do. He didn't make any threats. Yeah. He, okay. Well, you know, we're going to throw you in jail because you're a fucking smart ass. Well, leftoid twatter is still trying to dox the guy. They're sending him death threats and all this bullshit. Like, grow a pair and get a life. We listen to you say fuck Trump and all this, and threaten assassinations and all this bullshit for over four years. It's still going on. Yeah, They're th- still obsessed with them. And that one comedian had, what, tr- a, a replica of Trump's head? That one redheaded ugly bitch? What's her oh, name? Oh, yeah. Uh, Kathy Griffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one whose claim to fame is being on the D list. <laughs> it's not tit size either. Yeah, and the only way that you get on the D list is by sucking a lot of D. Otherwise, you're on the E list, which stands for eject. Yes, I like that. Private, oh my ass. <laughs> I already know who sent this one. Have you seen butt shipment number five from the Emperor? Prepare thyselves, gentlemen. It's going to be bad. At least the last one. Yeah, I yeah I saw that. What I didn't see that. What is? Oh, that? that was the one that actually showed the the seven inch gaping butthole. Oh, oh yeah. Huh. Oh yeah, that was terrible. That shit was forced open like Alex DeLarge's and eyes. Like and like, I don't know. I was on Facebook and it just came across the feed. And I was just like, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> It's hilarious, but it's still gross. Jesus Christ. Uh, That's two cat heads. It's a new classic. Not the picture, but the conversation. You could roll up two large pizzas and they'd fit in there. Huh? (laughs) Dude. (laughs) (laughs) Or, you know, we could just call up uh, James Von Maxwell because Richard Gere is always looking for a nice large ginger hamster. 
Oh, my God. Call me Blake. Did he actually do that? Or is that just rumor? Uh, he was into gerbling from what I understand, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know. His wife was young. I guess it's because he has money. Shark Dentures, I think you guys just discovered the only 100% effective birth control, and that is the Clinton Deepfake. <laughs> I like it. That is a 1,000% anti-hydraulic maneuver, good sir. Jimmy right, so Bo. We're one hour in. How many do we have on now? All right. Let's check it out here. Let's see what we got here. 1,198 on YouTube. Thank wow. you very much for tuning in. 48 on MGTOW.TV. 105 on Odyssey. And over at DLAP, we got 70 people watching. Twitch, we got 66. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. It's like 1,500 people. Hell yeah, man. Fucking Thank you all so I am much. truly honored you guys should, you are tuning in here. Yeah, I, I mean, am. you could be spending your night any other way. You're spending it with us, and I hope you brought booze Yeah, because you're going to uh, need it. We went to 406 when somebody uh, sent us a, was a comment on local. Yes, we did. And if you go to the front page of redonculus.com, we are keeping a running counter of all the lives that we have saved. So if this content in any way has made a difference in your life and has kept you from you know, suck starting a shotgun. Let us know about it. Send us an email. We'll you know what would be really list. cool? If we get ourselves a dog tag machine and then somebody calls in, they get their name and put their number on there and send them the dog tag. Yes. I am 1,000% behind this idea. That's fucking, that'd be, that's badass. That, that way for the rest of their life, they have a dog tag with their name, Soch, and their number on there. Yep. And now, do we put uh, the image of you doing the knife hand or the two thumbs up on the back? Well, it, it, with <laughs> a, just the old uh, dog tag machines, you can only do letters and numbers. Yeah, but we could do some laser etching if we wanted to get fancy. Just... Yeah, I know, but it's, it's not the same. <laughs> oh, you want it to be more like, like more like what you had. If I had like a machine and I get to, ah, oh, God, what's your name, you motherfucker? <laughs> 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 Throw an envelope, mail it to the guy. Woo! With a with a business card, it says "fuck off." I'm glad you're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, Jimmy Bones, if AOC or annoying, opinionated Quantaha, as I call her, ever did Orn pay, it would count as a donkey show. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh! Oh! Shots fired! Oh, God! Shots fired! Oh, God! Never let oh, the tits... I thought I forgot those images. <laughs> Never let the tits of a socialist in a capitalist society hypnotize you, gentlemen. That's good advice. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, some of the best tits I've ever seen were on uh, socialist yeah, They're okay. Uh, well, I can think of a few off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, the Mexican yeah, nice. with the bat with the gutter nails. Ugh. The only reason I kept going back there is those tits were so good. Yeah, I know the feeling, man. Crusader Nate. Blake, did you ever think that Whitmer X'd out some people to ensure they vote Dem in the next election? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> Are you kidding? They found an at what an ass load of dead people on the roll still. Yeah. And some have been there for like 20 some odd years. Uh, but really what it all comes down to is that Title 4D, and in China they have a demographic crisis, so this was mutually beneficial for both parties to release what is essentially, it's been agreed upon now that this is a bioweapon. Um. When you've been bleeding Social Security dry using Title 4D and you've got more people who are going to be collecting pensions rather than producing in society because our birth rates are falling below replacements, how do you put off such a demographic time bomb? Kill you kill a bunch of old people and a bunch of fatties. You kill them. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yep. Uh, if you're a globalist, it's been the time of your life the last two years. For the rest of us... Dinoside 13, evening gents, survived Christmas with the avatar of the terminally blue-pilled. Oh, my. <laughs> Old commie donkey chomper's grill is so janky it scared away the gators. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Cheers to the new year. May masses be awakened before it's too late. No. Have, have you been tracking the box office for the new Matrix movie? Oh, it's atrocious. They're getting fucking, their asses kicked. Well, basically because it's a remake of the first movie, but now there's two ones. Yeah, so wouldn't it, that make them a deuce? Yeah. <laughs> Which, <laughs> like, I literally was watching on HBO Max. I fell asleep halfway through, and I, I had no motivation to watch the rest of it. Yeah, that's how I felt about Sex Education Season 2. The first season, I was like, you know, this is actually kind of a funny show. I mean, I could kind of get behind this. It seems like they're kind of equally bagging on everybody. And then Season 2, it goes full woke. And in one episode especially, by the time it was done, I just kind of, I'm laying there, and I'm like, Done. I'm done. This is stupid. Season three is out. Don't fucking care. Yeah. No shit. Is it given. has it been canceled yet? Uh, I sincerely hope so. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, they'll probably keep making it just to spite us. Ascension. 
I devised two very easy steps to help make your relationship life easy. One, do not sign a marriage license for any reason if you're a man in this country. Two, do not live in a common law marriage state. Follow these two things and your life will be much easier. Okay. That's actually uh, valid. Not bad advice. That's valid. I said, John, hey, Pop, did you get to see and look up the Alashenka story yet? I have not. He has not. Since you and I share similar interests, I would like to share some of my research with you and get your opinions on it. Well, you know where to find the man, redonkulous 12 gmailcom Yeah, sure. Shark Denture is you guys could sell those laser etched dog tags, and I would love to buy a set of dog tags with Pop doing the thumbs up on them. Well, yeah, the laser etched ones are way more expensive. That's probably true. You, get the, you, you can probably b- find in a surplus shop the old machine for like 200 bucks. I'll start yeah. looking. You buy the blanks, they're not that expensive. Yeah. It just fucking just it takes ten minutes to crank out a, a dog tag. Yeah. Senior Airman Dick Fitzwell over on MGTOW.TV. What's up, you pud pumpers and tug and tallowackers? <laughs> Crappy New Year. May the two way rifle range be in your favor. It will. <laughs> well, actually. Now there's your Hunger Games. Yeah. I, if it does kick off, more than likely I'll be like one of the di- dudes reporting on it. Okay, what really makes me sad about this screen name is that somebody actually had to create an account on MGTOW, MGTOW.TV to, to make it. Smurfing Balls Blakey Poo <laughs> donated $12. <laughs> Pop and Blake, I missed you guys, especially you, Pop, you King Dong Master. Yes, homo and a women. Nah. <laughs> yeah. You know what's really funny, though, is I used to say the Smurf my balls to officers all the time. I'm just wondering, what is Smurfing? I mean, does it have it's, to do with the little blue creatures? Well, the thing is, is when I in, yeah when I put the Smurf my balls in there, <laughs> it's not technically, you know, I'm not technically you know saying fuck you motherfucker, oh, but okay. I'm indirectly saying fuck you motherfucker and Smurf my balls, <laughs> sir, sir. Yeah, because I've had uh, uh, had you gotta, this gotta have respect when you're telling somebody to do an unknown verbiage of your balls. I, I had a lieutenant elev- elevate the complaint to the battalion commander. <laughs> And the bata- I'm sitting there in the command, uh, bed, town commander's office. <laughs> really? The lieutenant's right there. And he goes, so uh, Sergeant Pop told you to smurf his balls? What was going on when this happened? What was the interaction? There was little blue people running around. <laughs> <laughs> and the LT's like, he's just like rambling out with his story. And he looks at me and goes, you can leave Sergeant Pop. This lieutenant is stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay. That's awesome. <laughs> this lieutenant's stupid. Drive on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know you're a good NCO when, when the battalion commander comes to your office and goes, we're going to sign a lieutenant to you, and it is your job to train him and make sure he's not fucked up. Yes. I like, would God damn it, not another one. I'd call that a vote of confidence. Like, okay. Aero Shogun, what's the best way for a civilian to get the equivalent or close to basic training? I prefer to assume I know next to nothing, but having a tough time trying to find someone to train under in my area and the military is super cucked. Mm. Going to the range is great and all, but there's so much more to it than shooting a target while standing in one spot. That's absolutely correct. Oh, yeah, and damn it, Blake, that was sick. <laughs> But you know I'm going to have to keep that freaking deep fake around because the reaction was legendary. Oh, Fuck you. Okay. Well, number one, if you want to get in good fiscal shape, do CrossFit and uh, train up for half marathons. And you did a Lair video talking about the best way to get in military shape. Uh-huh. So you could use that as a guideline. I don't, I don't remember exactly what I put in there, but it's just standard stuff. Yeah. Not a big deal. But you know, it's a, it's you could do it in four weeks or six weeks if you're young and not fucked up. No. Like, like I, like me at my age, I can't get close to that again. Yeah, we all get older, man. Smurfing balls, Blakey Poo again. I'm gonna have to keep saying that, aren't I? Blake and Pop, we live in a world where one super chat can ruin your life. Just look what happened to Murphy. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. I'm not going to. First of all, I, I, I'm up to speed on that entire situation. Yes. And second of all, I am not going to kick a dude when he's down, and I'm not going to engage in like this crazy, stupid beef bullshit. I'm not doing it. Wow. What? I didn't know this. Uh, by the way, you know that you made it big in life when they put you in Cuck Simulator. Look at the Steam page. Oh, no. I what, what did we when we were ha- we were talking about this personally the other day I said uh-huh. there's nothing that we could say that could make this better or worse because this dude is taking care of everything himself uh-huh. in terms of how this is going to perceive and how it's going to affect him 
as far as how people look at him and how much money he will continue to make, which I'm guessing is plummeting by the day. You do something like this, you have taken your fuck up and made it legendary. And you have no one to thank but yourself. That is all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Kira Ninja, we don't engage in beef here, so. Kira Ninja Double O, hey, you one-eyed spitting cobras. Happy late New Year, Pop and Blake. Check Urban Dictionary. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Come on, dudes. Every time. Uh. Uh, Colin Fogarty. Hey, here we go. I, 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 I've been requested to read it in this voice. So, uh, uh, the act of performing a fart transfer into your female's rectum and then proceeding to go down on her. Now, during this, she farts her, your fart, into your mouth in which you proceed to cup the gas in your cheek and immediately jump on top. Stick your peg D inside and blow the fart transfer directly into her nose while she blows it out through her mouth back into your nose for you both to enjoy the euphoric sensation of the ultimate fart transfer. That can't be real. Come on. How is this even possible? Uh, This This requires way too much logistical planning. This reminds me of like I walked in on a conversation in the barracks. (laughs) And dudes are like, you know, you know, you could shit in a bottle and like what? stop it up, and then you can like huff it, and it'll make you high. I'm like, y- y- you need to die. <laughs> <laughs> Please get out of get out of my vicinity, get out of here. you disgusting bastard. <laughs> oh. That's messed up. Senior Airman Dick Fitzwell, Pop once visited the Virgin Islands, and now it's just called the Islands. <laughs> Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> been there, done that, got the T-shirt. Smurfin' Balls, Blakey Poo again. I just keep saying this. <laughs> Blake, just imagine Pelosi's face on that. Pop would approve. Uh, Especially with a Colin Fogarty. <laughs> you know what? We should make a deep fake of everyone in the government. Oh, we should. <laughs> and we can make a musical and have them yeah. there. It's like, oh. Biden shows up. My butt's been white, Pelosi. And I did it. <laughs> With my mouth. <laughs> uh. Dude, that's comedy gold. We get banned. <laughs> We're going to get banned. We get banned. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping over to Odyssey. <laughs> Caleb on. Hey, at least it's a hairy bear and not a hairy chia pet. Gotcha. Although I've seen some women who was uh, downstairs mix-ups could qualify as such. Loyal 9 with a 25 uh, a library coin donation. Thank you so much. To help out the Odyssey Coin Fund, AOC is the typical communist. She wants communism for everyone else except her. Mm. Maybe you should send her some of your canned farts. She might get pregnant from that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Loyal 9 again. I believe the Black Book is online. I, at least, have a version of it on a hard drive. Send it to us. Send it to us. Send we'll go through that us. shit. And now, and also, like, uh, send. You know, let us know where you got it. So we know if, uh, yeah, because, yeah. you know, I'll be like, listen, this is, I don't know if this is accurate. This is just what I've been sent. Yep. It'll go out in the Pops Prepper email list. Yes. Because sharing is caring. hmm Unless you have warts. Loyal Patriot 1. Hey, guys, check out Loyal 9's anti-communist videos. Hell, yeah. He did. He just did one on why the left is indoctrinated. Fire. Well, check one of the main out. reasons... Why the left is so indoctrinated is they're mentally fucking weak. Yes, they okay? are. Listen, women always go, the, not always, but most of the time they will take the path of least resistance. Because they, more than half of them, under 30, have a mental illness. Yes, and since they're raising and teaching most of our young men, they're, those young men are adapting those traits as well. Yep. You know, taking the easy way out is not a masculine trait. It's a damn shame. Okay, it's just not. No, that's when you get know you get your manhood by shameful default when you do shit like that. Yeah. And I can't tell how many times I'd have new privates show up and I'd be like yelling at them and they're like looking at the ground and shit. I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? If I'm yelling at you, you need to look me in the fucking eye and don't look away or you fucking lose. That's the way it rolls, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> yep. 
Freswala Chatein of Ranodesi. Good evening, dear Mr. Pap und the Herr Kleiner. Happy New Year from Comida, you couple of bundles of sticks. <laughs> now, do you suppose that your very own Brandon could meet our very own Mangina in power and transmit to him an early onset of whatever he has? Yeah, I know. We, one can only one hope. can only hope. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could maybe send your uh, Kanukistan guy um, some tainted deer meat that has that uh, wasting disease. Uh, yeah. The prions. Or you could send him a cheeseburger with some mad cow in it. You know? Yes, that'll hook him up. That'll hook him up nice. Mad cow with cheese and bacon. Yeah, of course I would never do that. But no, no, no. I would, I'm Allegedly. Not, well, no, no, I would never poison anyone. If I had a problem with you, I'll just kick your face in. But <laughs> beat on sight list. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do sneaky shit and poison nah. and stuff. I might, you know, you got better stuff to do. Well, if I got to set up on you, I'm not gonna poison you because <laughs> that's just dishonorable. I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah, and that goes double for the people who fucked over Rasputin. Yep. Dark Helmet, just put an I did that sticker on a gas pump today. I do that every time I get gas. Nice! Yes! Dude, I wonder if we can sell those. Butthole boffers. <laughs> I came up with that right before the show started. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Butthole uh, boffers. Butthole boffers. Yeah, that's the, that's the Gay Cruises hockey team. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! We're going to hell. I'm the captain of the butthole office. Yeah, <laughs> this is my second lieutenant, Colin Fogarty. How you doing, <laughs> Andreas Christian? Happy New Year, guys! I have a special anniversary coming up. It's been 25 years when I accidentally shot a firework off that went into Grummy Grandpa's chimney in his house. The firework exploded, and the guy that came running out of the door was covered with soot, hooting and hollering. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me. Uh, things do happen. Well, that was was that the police station thing? No, or something no. Different? The, the old guy next door. I, I just was from the upstairs of my room. Uh oh. Large crow was. Uh, it's winter, sitting at the top of his uh, chimney, trying to stay warm. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking shoot that fucker. Yeah. I hit him right in the throat, and he just goes, uh, falls right into the furnace. 20 minutes later, everyone was gagging and retching because it, it caught on fire and stunk the whole... Uh, was, I'm like, oh, my God. It's comedy gold! Yes! I didn't mean for that to happen either. It's <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, it looks like we got our uh, last chat over here. Actually, no, two here. Uh, Regolith Rat with a $10 donation over on Odyssey. Yes, we finally got uh, Funny Money Currency hooked up over there. Just chipping in for Pops Beer and Straw Fund. Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Loyal9 sent you an email with the black book. Hope it helps. Yes! We love sharing information around here. Yeah. That's why we do this. Because, you know, it's a sad day when you can't go to the media for news anymore. You have to come to a couple of drunk a-holes <laughs> working out of our basement. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, the only reason I do this is I can't lie. And I've, I saw this years ago. We were entering an, in, an informational war, and no one else was doing anything about it. Yeah. Hey, what are you going to do? Yeah, and this is costing people's lives and shit. Yes. Yes, yes, it is. What are you looking up? Binge drinking? I, hey, don't talk about it. I'm, I'm trying to look up, uh, oh, look up okay. sources here. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Like, uh, it's oh. all good. Well, we, we have to uh, get to our main subject of the night now that we have caught up on all the chats. We used to have almost 1,200 people watching here on YouTube alone. Dude, I am so honored you're here, man. Yeah, thank you all very much. Welcome back. Happy New Year to you. Hopefully 2022 is better than the last two. Oh. This is hilarious because it, this is why we titled this stream Single Ladies Hooked on Copium. And I got the, the message from Jeffrey Paul before the stream. What's copium? Say it out loud. <laughs> They're addicted to coping with the consequences of their bad decisions. This New Year's Eve, celebrate the women who choose to stay single. They, well, they, they are choosing to stay single because they all want the top 3%. That's right. And that top 3% has money, and they can get any bitch they want. You're damn right. And they're probably pulling 18 to 24-year-old chicks all day long, and they could probably do it till they're 65. 
You're damn right. We're going to dive into this article momentarily, but first we're going to let Pop empty his squirrel bladder and give a shout out to our sponsor, Brett Mauser's Tag Conspiracy. Last man standing. We're going to play a game of tag. Now let's do this! Deep Throat is a source. A source with, with information. On the Green Lottery. What the hell is this? U.S. currency. The U.S. hasn't been around for like 10 years now. Oh. What do you know about the lottery, Miss Tyler? Well, that it began as an effort to reduce greenhouse gases by decreasing the country's population, and that violent criminals have been chosen at random to be eliminated for the greater good of the planet. People are okay with that? Climate change is a serious threat to the planet. They aren't being eliminated. Some of them are being sold into forced labor. Others are being thrown into gladiator-style competitions for the rich and powerful to wager on. How do I prove it? Dismantle the lie. Only the truth remains. A simple stroke of my pen, I could have you both deem a risk to national security, hunted down, and eliminated. How about you, Miss Tyler? Are you willing to die for this story? No story is worth dying for, Lenny. What do you think it was? This was a bit more dangerous to the government than guns. How do you, one man, plan on taking out the entire government? By taking out one man. Now let's do this! In my weakest moment, you call me by name. You call me wild You play me like a game. This is what it's like living your life. You think I'm an idiot? Don't take it personally. I think everyone's an idiot. All of our bridges just got burned except for one. How? Journalism is dead, and people like you killed it. All right, Hal, hypothetical situation. You're walking down a dark alley with thousands of dollars hanging out of your pocket. Actually, I have walked down a dark alley with thousands of dollars in my pocket. Uh-uh. I can't, man. I can't debate with a psychopath. Allow me to congratulate you on becoming the latest winners of the Green Lottery. We're going to play a game of tag. One of your firearms will become activated. The light will turn from red to green, signifying that you are it. I just need to focus on staying alive. I didn't study journalism for six years to die in some warehouse. Could be dying in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, that broke. Don't worry. Don't worry. One hour. Last man standing. Use this thing. You point it at a at a bad guy, and when that turns green, you pull the trigger and you run like hell. Welcome back. All right. That's a film by Authentic Tequila. Project Veritas whistleblower Brett Mauser, who's been a big supporter of the show now since uh, not long after our first episode on Single Mothers aired. That was years ago. I'm sure he's responsible for about 25% of the views on that video. <laughs> yeah. We've been doing That was years ago. Good stuff. We unmarrieds may have no other half, but we are far from alone. Nearly 50% of the U.S. population is single, and many of us wouldn't have it any other way. That's fine. And most of the people who wouldn't have it any other way are dudes. Yeah. But when a dude says the exact same thing, what is he called? Uh, gay. Uh, misogynist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you don't get along with your mother. Incel you is another one. That's another favorite. Yeah. I mean, there's a whole like a whole laundry list of stuff that come down. I mean, we did like two or three videos where we just go down the laundry list of shit they do, their argument points. Yeah. And it's so consistent. It's insane. <laughs> it's it's quite sad. It really is. Oh, goodness gracious. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But the, the copium here is really on just on full display. Are you by yourself? Did you come alone? What? No date? Hey, I know this nice guy. Nothing brings out the Cupid busybodies like New Year's Eve. But there you go. <laughs> can you stop asking us single ladies so who you'll be kissing at midnight? We're content that the answer is no one. One, two, three. Bullshit! In reality, they could be kissing my ass. That's very true. This has been going on for so long now. What's the, I don't need a man. I'm content to not have a man. Oh, really? 
because the facts tell a very different story. The facts and the stats. Binge drinking among women has doubled in a decade. Researchers throw cold water on mommy drinking phenomenon as report reveals the biggest increase is among childless women in their 30s and 40s. Winning. If I had a mic that I could drop, I would drop it. And you know what makes dudes binge drink? Women? They, well, no, no. A lot of dudes binge drink because they're working 60 hours a fucking week. Yeah. They're, and then they have to come home to somebody who is... Uh, I don't the, need a man. The Think, other N-word. Yeah. A nagger. And, and listen... No, I didn't cuck. How dare you? We have... The only thing that has created more inventions other than war is nagging. Yeah. All right. Think of a dishwasher, clothes washer, dryer, iron, car, heated house, where it's a natural gas or propane. There's no cutting wood. There's, you know, you know, indoor plumbing. Yeah. And we invented most of that stuff because the women in our lives wouldn't stop complaining about it. Yeah. So we invented all of it to make their lives easier, but they still don't have time. Wait. Yeah. And it, it, you made it easier for them. And what do they do with that time you fl- you freed up for them? <laughs> they go suck off Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad, and Tyrone behind the dumb cumster. Yeah, correct. And then they look you in the face and go, it's your fault because I'm not happy. Like, what the fuck? You need to go and make more money so that we can have more stuff for the house. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh, by the way, um, you don't spend enough time with me because you're always at work. Yeah, I'm always at work making the money that you demanded that I make so that I could buy all this shit that we don't need. Or you didn't want. Exactly. I got you. That's keep, that's keeping up with the Joneses or Jamal. What were we saying earlier about smurfing my balls? Smurf them! Wow. And it's not just binge drinking. Antidepressant use rising in the U.S., mostly in women. And this was a 2020 article released by the CDC. Ooh. And in 2010, it was one quarter of all women I know, were on headmates. It was one in four. Is it one in three now? If it's rising, so nearly 18% of all adult women used antidepressant medication between 2015 and 2018. That's compared to just 8% of men. Um, so basically, it looks like it hasn't really changed all that much. Uh-huh. But, I mean, if it was one quarter of women in 2010, there's no way that this is completely accurate. No. Because I, I, after I, all, the CDC... Never lies. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. But if lying bastard. If it's going up, and they're saying that 18% is going up when we know that 10 years ago it was 25, yep. it's got to be way higher. All right. It's got to be a minimum of 30. And we did that stream about liberal women under 30, over half of them having a mental illness. Correct. So who do you think is the target demographic for all these pills? It certainly isn't me. And that's why <laughs> you take sleeping pills. I don't take I don't take like mood elevators and shit. No, no, no. I take pills to sleep and pain. Yeah, yeah. I would I would uh, I would say that's an accurate assessment. That's how you uh, wound up, you know, having riding the gummy train. Yeah. Since I got you all hooked up there. Yeah, yeah. On the gummy train. Yeah. That stuff works. Yeah. But yeah. Even all of these pills are not fixing the problem because, holy smoke and Joe Frazier, suicide rates are increasing for women in middle age. Gee, I wonder why. I can tell you why. I know exactly why, but go right ahead. Uh, Because they get to that age, and they're like, holy fuck, I am going to have to do this until the day I fucking die. Yeah, you have, by insisting you don't need a man, you have burdened yourself with masculine performance, that is not something anyone wishes on themselves. It yeah. sucks. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> and right. you either thrive in it or you die in it, pure well, and simple. That's why men die earlier. One, because they want to, and two, they realize they're a slave and they're done. They're done. Yeah. Like, they're just like, I'm going on to the next one, man. Fuck this. <laughs> oh, we got a hamster in the chat and there he's, we abus- go. he's abusing his wrench. Hey, you uh, you ginger hamster bastard, why don't you crawl out of Richard Gere's ass and come on with us on Thursday? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> you know good. you want to, but I will, I will insist on one thing. The last time that you were on the stream, James, you were sober. 
I'm sorry, we just can't have that around here. <laughs> you got to be at least half. In the bag. You got to be at least half in the bag. I, I would agree. Yeah, so not you, totally in the bag, but half the bag. Half, half in the bag is fine. Yeah, you know, half in the bag is good. I mean, the, you could trip over yourself at that point because you're trying to walk around with a bag over half of your body. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Nobody would run a race like that unless they were paid to for like a school fair or something. But even then, you know, you take the teacher that you're tied up to behind the dump dumpster and you're good to go. Yeah, and that reminds me, just have me tell the half of the bag story. That's that's really good. <laughs> okay. The half in the bag story. Well, I mean, we don't really need to touch much more of this. I mean, you guys are more than welcome to to read the rest of this article on your own. All sources are available on the website. So I, I'm, I, I'm very interested in the half in the bag story. All right. Back when I was a free-range fornicator, I usually used to go to the bar with two other rangers, and we had a little hand-in-arm signal thing going on. And we'd go out and we'd, like, walk around and talk to women. And as the night went on and they were getting more inebriated and we'd have hand signals. So we talked to this one chick who's, you know, half in the bag, and she's like, hey, what's up? And then the one guy, the principal, we're trying to get laid. We look over, make eye contact, and we do this. <laughs> and that way he's like, oh, we got one that's half in the bag. And they go over there and they chatter up and, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Did the the half in the bag, and then you had the uh, the wave off and the anchor. Yeah, oh, the way the anchor. Yeah, we all know. There's the always anchor. the anchor. And uh, woe be the man yep. who has to fall on that grenade. Yeah, or so his buddy can get some. The hand and arm signal for block the anchor was this. So that means oh, okay. There that means go. you can fit the whole fist in because no, you're she's going so there. fat. And literally, like <laughs> here, here's the girl's half in the bag, and here's the anchor. I like walk in like, uh, hey, how you doing? Uh huh. And then he's working <laughs> his tail. And, oh no, don't t- pay no attention over. Hey, what's going on, baby? It's yeah, how you doing? Yeah. And then and, then, and once the deal sealed, you know, fall, <laughs> you walk off into the smoky bar light and disappear. <laughs> Reappear ten minutes later from behind the dumb cumster with a cigarette in your mouth. Yeah, that was pretty good. Now I've, I've at like, least it was until I realized I forgot a rubber. Uh, uh, I don't mess day. with that, man. No, no, no. That's how you get a dick worm. Yeah. Or, you, or worse, something you have to pay for for the rest of your life. You wind up subsidizing her pension as a glory hole attendant. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm so glad I came up with that joke. It's comedy <laughs> it's cold. Oh, man. Uh, it's even worse when they're free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my terrible. God. Terrible. Oh. Like, you know, if you find a glory hole in the men's room. Odds are pretty good that the person on the other side has a penis. Or it's a goat with no teeth. Especially if you're on the gay cruise with the butthole boffers. Oh, dude. It's only third period. Luckily, no one on this boat gets their period. That would be... Unless a- you're too rough with them. That would be a, a hilarious joke to do, like, in some bar in the bathroom. Oh, God. You hide a, a, a noise generator in there, and you have, like, a, a guys in the toilet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Or some pig. <laughs> so we, so we. You're gonna hurt their feelings, man. <laughs> or a cow. <laughs> Dude's like, there's uh, there's barn animals in there. Like, what are you, you ever, talking about? It's the bathroom, bro. Did you ever see that British show where they hit a speaker in the ladies' room? No. And they had these two women who were just they had a like you know a, a closed you know camera feed in there and these two ladies were just like it's like do you have any paper i'm out of paper like no one, oh god i really need some paper can you just hand it over <laughs> like i don't have any it's like have you do you have panties here's your panties <laughs> these chicks are all putting their makeup on the mirror like the fuck i gotta get out of here <laughs> dude that's comedy gold that right there great. That's some good shit. Oh, well, I got to go back to this article for this right here. I love this because it just shows you how disconnected from reality these people are and why most of them, I'm sure, vote Democrat. Mm. Everything used to be about men's careers and women nurturing everyone. But when we do that, we leave out ourselves. Okay. And how exactly are you supposed to nurture yourselves when you're burdened with masculine performance and you're raising kids on your own? And that's why men dive sooner because nobody's nurturing them if they're by themselves they have to do it all themselves yeah and that's why you've got binge drinking going off the chain 
female suicide going off the chain, but it's still three times lower than men. And antidepressants are being like dispensed out of a Pez head. Like, yeah, you're absolutely it's, correct. It's off the chain. And like male suicide's been off off the hook for decades, and no mm-hmm. one says shit about it. It's just ridiculous, man. I think <laughs> I have to be like one of the few 501Cs out there whose mission is to like stop dudes from committing su- anyone from committing suicide. Yeah. But mostly it's dudes or service members. Yes, yes, I would agree. And because we're <laughs> we're weapons grade assholes. Yep. We decided to show you guys what some of these ladies look like when they're looking for love. Oh. Oh, this is my this is good. Oh, God. this is oh, good. Here we go. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Butthole buffers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to have like a thousand people doing that. <laughs> have some trucker. Oh, man, it's going to be better than the opening credits of Friends. Oh, great. <laughs> We're going to have all these people clapping and hopefully not giving anybody the clap. Oh, you know, we should probably see if we can get like short videos from our from the wrenches first of them doing Yes. Do it. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. If I could if I could give them all a green screen and then have them do the dances, I would put them all in boxed wine and catland. Oh, man. Speaking of which, that's where most of these ladies are going to end up. Yep, absolutely correct. I like them tall, white, and out of my league. I'm on the brink of getting slim and sexy, so snag me now while I'm fat and easier to attain. I love messaging first and not getting responses. Let me guess, you love hiking and girls who work out. I have three kids. Let me know if you want to be stepdaddy this might be satire yeah okay. just want someone that looks at me the way i look at seafood <laughs> it's got to be satire <laughs> tinder is stale gonna see whose life i can ruin on christian mingle oh my god it's got to be a joke did one squat earlier so don't mind me if i'm looking thick fuck me up fam <laughs> god it's got it can't be real it's probably satire, but even so, it's funny enough. You have to put it on the list here. This well, she's got good. three kids. She goes for dudes out of her league, so she's used to rejection. You know, three kids, you're getting rejected. You're gravitationally it, it, challenged. She's got to be trolling. It's gotta over. Be trolling. It's over. It, it's still funny. Uh, it's funny, but it's over for her. The funny thing is, though, is that this person might be trolling, but there are a ton of people out there with this exact situation who view themselves as stunning and brave, and they think that they're a catch. Absolutely correct. And we got a few of them right here. There we go. Shelly, Shell, 44, whose pronouns are she, her. I'm a single mom to 11 boys and four girls. 15. That's right. You read it twice. Most grown up and flew the nest. Please, I'm not on a daddy hunt, so don't bother. Yes, that's me in the photos. No catfish here. Please, any men, they just talks a bit what they have. I don't want job, car, home, well done. So does most. Don't. Didn't swipe right. All right, now I'm a dyslexic motherfucker, and, and I'm going to tell you right now that the second half of that is like beyond me. But 15 kids, we all know what that means. Oh my god! Don't pick. Yeah. <laughs> do not. Do not. Do not take that woman to Chicago. Oh, that'd be one hell of a whistle sack. Oh man, it would sound like blowing out a whole platoon of pop bottles. Yeah. That's horrendous. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, it looks like the chick from Star Trek, the motion picture. It looks like Dr. Evil. (laughs) Fine. My sole contribution this year, why am I single? Single mom said enough, I know, but I got snack blankies and games. Solid job with solid schedule. Live in the sticks, but moving to the city. Only current stressor is the fact that my older brother might hunt me down to unalive me. Well, that's something I want to put myself in the middle of. Yeah, and not only has she shaved her head and gauged her ears, she tattooed the top of her head to look like one of the things in Dave Bowman's hallucination at the end of 2001 A Space Odyssey. I just want to know, what did she do to her brother to make him want to unalive her? That's... Um, I'm guessing she shaved his head and prefers to use it as a wig and everything but her profile photos. Or she borrowed a bunch of money from him and decided to never pay back. It's well, that's like what happens do... if you loan money to women at all. And we did a whole video about it's this a phenomenon. Gift. Yeah. You just don't know it yet. Oh, here's another one. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my. And she's 25? Devin is 25 and might as well be 35. Veterinary assistant, Mount Royal University, bisexual woman, lives somewhere. Dog lover, grab a drink, gamer, music, politics. And this is the first thing on her profile, fully vaxxed. Yeah. From, uh, from the coof. Well, she's a, she's Canadian. Not from everything else she can give you. Yeah. On well, the whole po- the bisexual woman thing, the, I mean, the, those women are fun to have around. Petri dish of disease. I'm That's sorry. right. Absolutely correct. Herpigonocyphilates. Yeah. <laughs> Double shot and pills and no cure. Yeah, you don't want to take that shit home to your mother. Uh, hell no. No Hail Hell to the no. Okay. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance for this one because... You don't even really need to look at the profile. Oh, God. The picture itself. What? Um, if you have a bucket. A Mr. Bucket. Balls up. I might pop a Mr. Bucket. Uh, have it handy. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! What the fuck? Is that a corpse? I think so. I think she voted Democrat in the last election. Yes. Brooke 28. Good day. I love tattoos, piercings, and coffee. That's her whole profile. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, other than the fact she looks dead, <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot there to disqualify her in the in, in the uh, profile. Oh, 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 it's so. She likes tattoos and piercings, and she likes coffee. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, that's fine. well. The, the the piercings and tattoos things, though, like you you. That's can all go, temporary. You can go way beyond a certain point with that shit. Yes, but the thing is, if it, if like if they go overboard, you know, tattoos stand for temporary. That's very true. And then there's this. Oh, um, clearly not somebody who has pants that fit them in the yoga section of Dunham's. Mm-hmm. Twenty-three years old, most likely won't message you first, so shoot your shot. If you're not at least five nine, swipe left respectfully. Probably watching Grey's Anatomy, Vampire Diaries, The Originals, Flash, Hawaii Five O, or Criminal Minds. Pasta, Chinese food, and chicken wings are my favorite foods, not to mention the block of cheese that she uses to brush her teeth every morning and evening. I have a two-year-old daughter, and I'm a full-time single mom. Give me a reason to delete Tinder. Well, first of all, um, you look at her food choices and her body type. Okay. That body type requires a lot of resources. And with the two-way rifle range coming down the pipe, you're not going to be able to throw her over an eight-foot wall. And I guarantee you that when she filled out her Tinder profile, she chose average body type. Absolutely correct. That is the biggest lie women tell on dating websites, average body type. Correct. And it's not average. No. No, it's fat. (laughs) Speaking of which, when did people allow women to start commandeering terms like thick, curvy, average body type to mean whatever the fuck they want. You know what? We should do a video. We we have strict definitions for those. Seriously. No, you're not thick. You're size 48. You're not curvy. You're Tess Holiday. okay? You really need to figure out where... I mean, <clears throat> curvy does not mean lumpy. Or more. Okay? If you, if you wear a sports bra... And you get your belly tanned, okay? And you sit on the shitter naked with your pale tits hanging over two bulges that are tanned, and your naked ass looks like Homer Simpson's face. You are not curvy. You are fat. Actually, that's where the tit fat. Yeah, exactly. That's that's where the tits fat. Jennifer, 30 years old, Mm. mother of six. With another on the way. Don't hit me up to waste mine or my kids' times. I'm a good mom and my kids will always come first. Okay. I hope you're not diddling them to make them do that. You will pay for the first date and don't expect me to drink with you either. I have standards. I won't kiss you until the fifth date, so don't ask about that either. Please know how to work on cars, as I'll likely need your help with that. What else would you be good for anyway? The only way I can see this being even anywhere being legit is if she was a widow. Other than I that, highly doubt it. Yeah. Other than that, I bet you those kids are from several different fathers. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't work. 
uh, you know, and she's she wants that man to be the slave and pay for everything, but he's going to be second fiddle. Who's going to sign up for that? Not me. Exactly. And you know what's really funny? I'm just going to point this out here. You read everything she says. I'm not going to kiss you till the fifth day, blah, 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 blah. But yet, hidden behind these things right here, this was just a bad capture because I, I don't have a Tinder profile, okay. but you know, like I, I, I get these from boards. Looking for something, whatever, but friendship, casual. whatever. But something casual is on the list. But oh, I'm not going to kiss you till the fifth day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking for something casual is why you wound up with six kids from six different baby daddies at 30 years old. Absolutely correct. And now you want some poor schmuck to pick up the pieces and prove himself in a way that all six of your baby daddies never had to. Fuck you, because everyone else has. Jennifer, I need you to disarm the baby cannon. <laughs> please <laughs> disarm the baby cannon. Thank you. Disarm the baby cannon, please. And thank you. That's all I have to say about, about that. that. And now that we're all sufficiently turned on, let's uh, deactivate the hydraulics. <laughs> God, it's making me sweat. It's terrible. <laughs> Stop. Oh, God. Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so terrible. Oh, my God. So terrible. But hey, you know, it's uh, it's 9.46 and we still have about 1,200 people watching on YouTube. Thank you all very much for tuning in tonight. 1,200? That's fucking awesome. We are honored and we still have a new tech portion of this to get through. But So we're going to read your super chats and then we're going to transfer over so Pop can empty his squirrel bladder once again. That's correct. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see how many we got here. I'm going to bag it up here and bag it up. Oh, my gosh. All right. Here we go. All right, D-Man50 says, sub to the hamster. Yes, his streams are a riot. Yes, they are. That's why he got a strike, and that's why he has to come on our channel instead. Uh, he got oh, a strike. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, that's why he, he's not broadcasting right now. He let me know that when I asked him if he wanted to come on again. All right, cool. Son of a bitch. Well, you know, Suzy Q has, uh, has problems and all that stuff. Keith Peterson. But I, oh, she's working on the gains too. Yeah, we saw this one already. Yeah, she's. Oh, oh we did. All right, how about that one? That's uh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Not bad. It's all right. Reaper Zero One Nerd Moment. Blake, what computer rig are you running, and what cat cable do you use? Take me out with a Hillary dance. I already did that. I don't know. Pop will fucking shoot me if I do that again. <laughs> uh, computer rig. I have an iMac Pro. Uh, what we got here is the Zoom Pod Track P8. We got the Black Magic Ada Mini. I have a laptop here to monitor the streams. It's uh, another MacBook Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried the whole PC thing for a while, but honestly, I was having more having issues. problems. So. I, I have uh, the donated PC at the Lair, and I use that for live streams. Yeah. It's good stuff. Hey, yeah. It works pretty well, too. And uh, I, that guy who sent it, like, that, that was awesome. Yeah. I just had my nephew take it all apart and put it back together because something got knocked loose in shipping. Tony Stark. Yep. Uh, much appreciated to everybody. I mean, I mean, you can see the pile of shit behind me that we're going to be opening on Thursday. We are not worthy. I mean, that that's not just a meme that we throw in there for, for big super chats. I mean, it's... Well, I mean, you guys reward us for sitting here drinking and talking shit and just having fun. Well, and we I mean, tell them the truth. It's, yeah, tell them the truth. It's a dream job, in a way. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. It's because it doesn't even really feel like a job, especially when you're, you know, half in the bag and drinking listen, a whole bunch of bird dog peach. There's not a lot of people out there who were like rangers, green berets, paratroopers, you know, served while in the army while it was engaged in three formal wars. Yeah. I mean, I've been around the block. I mean, I, I know stuff. You've been around the block and a few blocks in other people's neighborhoods. Yeah, armed with guns. <laughs> <clears throat> or rubbers. Mm -hmm. In my younger days. In your younger days. Well, well, back then you were slinging seed like an old bird feeder. Yeah, but you know. You probably got a few kids running around Tacoma, Washington. Yeah. Well, Their well. moms were probably named Lisa. <laughs> Dude, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember talking about that, like, oh, you make chicks with the same name, and you're like, I got like seven leases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, it, it, yeah, that happened a lot. That's awesome. Uh, D-Man 50, a sub to Mayor Mercules. 
Yeah, check them out. Sub them out. Uh, Skullmeister13, what's up, low crawlers? New term, femboist. It's all yours. Femboist. Uh, turn them into an ist. That could be like... Everyone's an ist now. That could be what, a male feminist? The bow? The femboist, yeah. The yeah, femboist. The femboho. Polar bear. Or polar beer. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Bleak in a strip club DJ's voice. See Hillary Clinton live on stage right here, right now at the Chunky Trollop Gentleman's Club and Pizzeria. <laughs> Don't worry about putting the sausage on that plate because she's got plenty in her drawers, mate. <laughs> So Don't like, ask me how I know that. Let's just say I wandered back into the dressing room and then wandered out two minutes later puking my guts out. It's disgusting. Fembo. Semboist. Ist. Kenny Michaels with a forty nine ninety nine super chat. Thank you. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Former 13A, now I teach construction in a trade school. I showed your Twilight Zone episode to them today to explain why Baltimore reinstituted face diapers. <laughs> I hope they liked it. Yes, I like it. Thank you so much for that, man. Yeah, Keep sharing that one out because, man, if YouTube it, is really throttling that one. I'm going to be honest. Um, you don't have uh, a hair on your nut sack if you don't show them challenge accepted. Damn right. Oh, and we're going to remake that one soon, and I've got some ideas. I was so mad when I got that email. I was like, <sighs> and I'm like, I'm like, okay. And then you went to bed, and you're like, what do you mean I can't mathematically prove it? Of course I can. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I woke up, and I'm like, how hard can it be? <laughs> there you go. Uh, it all depends. Uh, Risky Krisky, I want my dog tag number 282. Let's go, Brandon. It's just an unwritten rule that anytime somebody types "Let's go, Brandon" in a super chat, we have to do that. Because most of the people, when they send they send me that, I just send them the number. Like the last yeah. guy, I'm like, "You're now 406." Hey, you know, if we can find a place that prints the dog tags, oh, we'll figure it anybody, out. Anybody, if we can figure that out, we will let you guys know in a stream. You send us what number you are, mm -hmm. and we will make sure that you get one. Let me look up dog tag machine here. Do we? G. Martin, 1907. D. Party is about to pass the Voting Act bill that cements their power. It will no longer matter what the polls say. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, Th they've been trying to pass the Voting Act bullshit since Biden got into office. Even, even if they do, yeah. it, it, that means it's game on for the two-way rifle range. Yeah. Because when you, you don't get justice in court or the ballots... You get it through bullets. Well, at the same time, too, the Supreme Court would have to step in because it would be usurping the Constitution by federalizing the election process. It was never meant to be federalized. They have dog, Ever. They have dog tag machines on eBay. I'm well, get one now. If they're cheap enough, yeah. <laughs> Cheaper than your mom on a Wednesday. Uh, you know my mama? Just tell her I said hi. Your finger smells like your mama. You're lucky we're north of the Umama line. Yes, I am. Very north of the Umama line. And your mama likes to go south of 8 Mile. Oh, <laughs> you went there. Oh, ooh. No, I didn't go there. She did. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, she's lucky I, uh, I I manscape. Otherwise, she'd be flossing her teeth. She'd come home. The ones that she leaves in a glass next to the bed. So oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, Well, I can say she does not have dentures. <laughs> she kept her teeth. All three of them. No. Oh, she, got lucky. <laughs> she got them all. I got to give you shit, man. No, it's, it's, what cool, I do. it's cool. It's what I do. Crazy Uncle, Wango Tango. This was years ago. Every time I see Wango Tango, I just get my palate all ready for it. In fact, this was when dash cameras had just started in police vehicles. Mm. A guy I know is dating a woman who was dating a constable on patrol cop, if you haven't put that together. Before him, he was working very hard, hands-on job, and he would stop at a bar prior to going home. To this day, I have not seen him drink more than one beer. He didn't tell me why, but I found out that his family has an issue with drinking, so he is what he is. This cop would follow him every day from the bar and pull him over. Every time he saw the truck, the cop would pull him over and harass my friend. Mm. This happened even if he wasn't driving. And, gotta help you if you even ask why you were pulled over. Yes, a true asshole. Mm -hmm. That was until the friend got fed up, saw the police car coming, made sure the car was right behind his truck, and as soon as he saw the red and blue lights, he slammed on his brakes. Picture, if you will, one of those cruisers slamming into the back of a two-ton truck at 30 miles an hour. It's called vehicular ass-to-mouth. 
<laughs> yeah. The part that stuck out was the truck's receiver went clean through the radiator. Yes, he was charged with endangering the life of a cop along with other shit. That was until he was in front of the police chief. Oh, this is going to get interesting. The chief and everyone else watched the dash cam. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. He told me that before the cop turned his lights on, he was so close you couldn't see the top, top of the truck's tailgate. Mm -hmm. And here I thought he only jacked up his truck because fat girls can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the chief was an old school no shit type of guy. And then again, he might just not want to handle a lawsuit. He asked my friend if he wanted to press charges on the cop, and he played it smart. He just wanted the cop to leave him alone. The cop got transferred in less than a week, and my friend is still married to the woman this was all about over 20 years later. FYI, she still thinks the entire story is hilarious. <laughs> and if you get administrative violence, um, we actually, uh, in, this in this current edition, we actually instruct you on how to go after cops and judges. Legally, oh, of course. Legally, yes. It's all legal. It's all it, legal. It's going to require you're going to have to. You're going to have to. With well, if you go up against judges, you need more than just six. Yeah. About six guys at a minimum. Might not be ethical, but it's all. But you're legal. not an attorney, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. Empujo Tinder versus online booty call. Which is a better source of three o fours? Uh, it all uh, seems. Uh, I don't even. I haven't messed with any. Either issues. way, you're playing Russian roulette with your junk. Yep. Dung is fun. I like lays with a bush. I eat out a I eat out and floss at the same time. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I just can't do it, man. I've been there, done that. My first chick that I ever banged was nicknamed Jungle Woman at her college dorms. The first time she asked me to go down on her, I literally laughed in her face. You can guess how much longer that relationship lasted. Probably not much longer. You would be correct. Irish lover, 7745. I'm just a salty marine. If a target presents, I take FMJ and I put steel on target. Problem solved until next time. Full metal jacket. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Oh, Keith Peterson loves his butts. All right, hang on. I got to gotta prep him up here. Oh, that was a nice one here. But I think this one might be even better. And she's lifting the gains. Oh. She's working out. She's working out. Oh, yeah. That's like, what, 15 pounds? Uh, it's like 45 pounds. Yeah, good luck with that, toots. Uh, Broken Pine, 284 with $10 Canadian. It's like $3 from American, right? Uh, if there was a comment, uh, Susie Q deleted it. Sorry about that. Eric Ghost. Hey, Pop and Blake from New Zealand. It's as bad as you think. I know so many who can't wait to get their booster. Mm. Jeez. Success pool endeavors with a donation. Blake, findom.com. Super simping achievement unlock. Okay. You have piqued my interest. Financial domination fetish.com. Hmm. It's a sugar baby website. Nice. That's all I need. Uh, whatever listen, works for you guys, I guess. I'm gonna be honest. I can't even deal with that. Like, uh, listen, I like to look at hot women, but I, I I have been around the block enough to realize it is drama, it is problems, and it is expensive. Yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, it's it's a normal relationship is expensive. Do you really want to pay for the annoyance? Any more than you have to? Yeah. Just asking for a friend. I'm just saying, like, uh, I'd rather just have peace. D-Man 50, never be a pay pig. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ohio Trucker 1, Pop, any advice or tips on how to maintain and clean a Vietnam-era M60? Found it in one of the lockers I inherited from my grandpa's brother, who was a pig gunner in Vietnam. First of all, obviously that's a replica. It's not a real one, huh? So... I'm just going to say that. And number two, 10W40, cut yourself up some cotton diapers. Diapers. Okay, those things work great. Um, now, one of the big problems you have with the pig is the upper um, you know, feed paw cover because you need to make sure that thing is lubed up and you got to get all the dust out of it or it'll... You said it'll, lubed. It'll, yeah, well, you do. That's what it is. It'll jam up. <laughs> like one of the biggest things, one of the biggest problems when I was a pig gunner was getting dirt in that upper, you know, f feed tray. 
Yeah. In the paws. There's all these little tiny micro springs and shit. It's just a clusterfuck. You got if you can keep that clean and then, you know, make sure that the um the gas system is not all jacked up, you'll be fine. Amen to that. Rigs. Uh, AF, take your antiviral slash fungal slash bacterial slash microbial before you go out. It's not rocket science. Yeah. I take the quercetin zinc, keep your vitamin A, C, and D at tip-top levels. Mm. You should be fine. Yeah, I thought he was talking about, like, you know, penicillin or something. Penicillin? Yeah. When that's was, that's when typically Army, what most men take it for. When I was in the Army, I made friends with the, with the Green Beret guys, and I always had a bottle of or two of different antibiotics. And I have guys come in from out on the town like, hey, Pop, you have any antibiotics? I'm like, did you wear a condom? <laughs> Were no. you fucking with it? <laughs> no. I'm like, all right, I'll give you some. But then go see the doc and get some more. Nice. Uh, crazy uncle over here. You guys reminded me of this. I had nearly forgot about it. A few years ago, an old friend told me what his brighter was doing. He had earned an epic shit ton of cash, but never really dated. His brother was older than us by at least a decade and decided to hire a foreign surrogate. Even bringing up the subject nearly ripped the family apart. His family's weird that way. Now I need to find his number and see if the family stayed together because the surrogate thing was going to happen. He was in the process of it the last time I heard. I say it's your life. Fucking do it. Yeah. I mean, listen, if she's from another country and you hire as a surrogate, and you get the kid and bring it back here, and you're good. Winning. As long as they don't screw you over. I mean, because we now live in a country where lesbians can go to the sperm bank and then fall on hard times and then sue the sperm donor for child support and win. Yeah, that's fucked up. So always, always, always wrap your tool. <laughs> And don't even, I mean, I wouldn't even do the sperm bank thing anymore. Fuck that. Yeah. If you guys are donating sperm, you're out of your fucking mind. You're going to get screwed, man. Not in a good way. Yeah, it's not even a good screwing. You're going to get screwed and you weren't even planning on getting screwed. Yeah. How fucked is that? I know. No pun intended. Mount Jeeves. My youngest sister and her boyfriend stole about 50,000 worth of tools, 14,000 worth of guns from my father. They traded stolen guns for a car and got caught in Washington. She is out in less than six years. Vagina card. Wow. Hitman. Pussy pass. Hitman. I mean, you steal $65,000 worth of fucking shit. You're, I'll break your goddamn legs. Whoo. Wow. I, I, I'm serious. You, I mean, we're not we're not encouraging that or anything. I'm just telling you, what I would personally do is I would Getting find that band. person and uh, band. It'd be bad. Band, 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 all the bands. Band. Sorry, I'm not talking about like rock bands. I'm saying we're gonna get banned. I'm just saying. I'm just. <laughs> uh, I personally, I would be very upset. <laughs> I would be too. El Snows, would you rather date these chicks or go munging? Oh, no, oh, dude, dude. Oh. oh, man. How about none of the above? Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I'm just going to go. be over here, you know, doing stuff. I'm going to be a master debater in my own home. <laughs> yeah, if you do that, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Uh, Zach Redpiller, all these women look like they leave a snail trail when they sneeze. <laughs> Shots fired, man. That's good stuff. Damn. I like it. <laughs> Uh, should D Van Fifty? Where's Ribby when you need him? I don't know. Perhaps he's a specific type of condom. Crazy Uncle, thanks, Blake. After all these pictures and vids tonight, the wives are going to be spending the rest of the week asking, "What's wrong?" <laughs> <laughs> because of all the hydraulic fails. <laughs> yeah, get pills. I like it. Uh, John Davis has an email here with the. <gasps> oh God! <gasps> Oh, why would you do this to dude, me, bro? That's a fucking ambush, man. Why would you do this to that's me, what man? What are you doing? Huh? Can we even show that? Oh, I, I, I'm. Uh, oh, who? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to download it in order to show it to anybody because it's. Oh, uh, God. To quote one of my girlfriends, it's too big. <laughs> oh, shit. oh my God! I don't even know if I want to show you this. This is horrible. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, you can blame John Davis for this, not me. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, Lux32 looking for new friends. Feel free to add me on Snap. 
you just know there's gonna be like three dudes after this who are gonna be like, oh, Lander, I, I saw you, I saw you on a show. <laughs> We're gonna get banned. <laughs> we should have like, like got rid of her face. Oh, oh, I wish I could get rid of her face. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, you sick bastard, John. Ugh. Town drunk says no Santa this year, but the good idea fairy showed up. <laughs> That's the tr that woman has Tyrannosaurus rexitis. Yes, she does. She's got a gunt upper nuptial taint. C.G. Roberts' new study says average 20-year-old females are 170 pounds and 63 inches tall with a 38.5-inch waist. Sounds like a butterball to me. God damn. That sounds about right. Well, okay. It sounds, I mean, you could be flirting with full German. Yeah, I like. I used to mess with the full German chicks that were you know 5'8 or taller, and they weighed about a buck 62 like maybe buck 90 oh there i mean i you know i'm not proud <laughs> and lasagna was good hey, you know lasagna especially if there's garlic bread oh yeah oh yeah it, it you oh. can you can forgive a lot yeah. for this and especially if she's got cool points yeah because I, I have been with many a woman who wasn't the easiest on the eyes, but she was average looking and stuff like yeah, yeah. that. But but you hang out with her and it, it, you get easy going. She can shoot the doesn't shit with you. you. She can play the dozen. She doesn't bug you. And you're yeah. like, you know what? I wouldn't feel bad if I tapped that right now. Yeah. I wouldn't brag about it, but I wouldn't feel bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> Outback Vagabond. Greetings from Oz, Pop and Blake. I love the shopping lists that these chicks think they're entitled to. I know. It really is amazing, isn't it? It's out of their fucking mind. Yeah. You got a you got a four with a shopping list that thinks she's a fifteen. Marlon Alvarado, I thought that I'd contribute a little more after those Tinder profile readings. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be more. This is gonna be a like a weekly yeah. thing. This is a, this is a bottomless pit of, of comedy. Oh, it, it just never ends. It really doesn't. Just when I thought I was done collecting enough, we had what, seven today? That's out of the just in the the one session that you and I were looking for these things. I got what thirty five. Yeah, it's a, you, you literally it's like porn. It could stack up to the moon and back. Exactly, you can't watch it all. You can't. Kenny Michaels already showed them the string along method. The best part was when one student shouted about my mom's boyfriend has been doing that for nine years, winning. And and you know what? <laughs> you could push it out to thirteen if you do it right. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, that does it for the YouTube chats, and since it's about 10 o'clock, I think that we're going to read the rest of the chats once we go over to new chat, new, new tech, tech, because, you know, it's after 10, Pop's squirrel bladder probably needs to be emptied. It does. And you guys need some Jeffrey Paul. So with that being said, we're going to see you guys on YouTube Thursday night. I will put links to all of the new tech locations in the chat so you guys can click there easily. And, uh... Yeah, anything else you have to say, Pop? Uh, no, no, other than I'm honored that you guys are here, and yeah. uh, thank you for coming in here. Share the channel, because that's really the only way we're going to grow, because we're at, like, negative 50. Yeah, YouTube has been unsubbing people from us at breakneck yeah. speed. Yeah, I mean, literally, we're getting fucked with. But, you know, sooner or later, it's all going to come full circle. Yeah, because, you know, you keep filing off the edge, filing off the edge, filing off the edge. Sooner or later, all you have is this bullshit inner circle full of the same legacy media and cable TV companies that you personally murdered with the Internet. Correct. That's not really going to go well for you. No. No, it's not. So, uh, yeah, Suzy Q, suck a dick. In fact, you can eat the whole bag, and we'll see you on New Tech in just a few minutes. All right. All right.